Can you know in your gut when I went live? I'm late tonight. I don't know why. Just uh, didn't go live. Chose not to. Don't got a good excuse. But you can make one up in your head. Bam, bam, bam. Look at all these active fishermen in the fishing guild. Proud dad. It's the perfect time to go live. I agree. Just out here failing to find any good fish. It's pretty cool. Living. Get fish. Get fish on. You're trying to troll upstream? Yeah, that would take forever. That river has so much current. Stop by here. What did I leave on this? Oh. That explains a thing or two. Hey Doge, hey Gallagher. Fishy. Uh, not great. Seems to be my favorite place, but they killed my favorite spot, so. Just like real fishing, you know? I'm depressed. When your favorite spot dries up. Can't just post up on the bridge and be a successful fisherman anymore. Everyone's chasing wild carp today, I've noticed. I love the new rod and reel. Love it so much. It's just like perfect, you know? It's just the right size to love fishing. Of course, Brop had to go and buy the step above me and make me feel weak and pathetic. But, uh, you know, other than that, I love it. He's like, how can I make Richard feel bad about himself? Oh, I know. Use my thick wallet to humiliate him with a better rod. Controlling on Lucido. Yeah, you can do whatever you want, man. The stars say it shouldn't work. It'll work. Everything works everywhere. To a degree, right? And those stars are really telling you the number of species, right? The reason Mosquito sucks for trolling, there's, what, three species you can hit? 
Mate four, maybe? How are your eyes, Lackert? Are you blind? Can you even hear this? Perch eyed chubs. Are there no pike there at all? There should be pike there too. I assumed it was. That's this evening, yeah, yesterday. You're not allowed to change days on me before I sleep. That's confusing. You know the rules. It's not tomorrow till I sleep. Somebody keeps biting your shit off? Yeah, that's Pike. Get a seal leader. And then catch those Pike. Fucking birds, man. How do they work? Start to feed yourself, yeah, that's fair. So if you're losing lures, isn't that expensive? What are you, a Vendace? Not what we're looking for. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, oh, oh. It worked. The old here, fishy, fishy. Never fails. It's just going to be a dumb perch, and I'm going to be sad. Why do I have to? Why do I speak? I'm gonna complain about Insta Fish. Hey, hardcore. What are you? A Rippus? A Vendace. Oh! It popped off! Evening, Willem. Get off my lake. It's my lake. I've claimed it as my own. We have a new lake coming, chat. It said imminent, but nobody knows how long imminent is. Soon. TM. Yeah, it's going to be a, the like outside of Ladoga, or that part of Ladoga, beyond the barrier of Ladoga. It's a separate lake, but... It's the big open water with holes up to 50 meters deep. It's basically just a giant open lake with a single little tiny island, it looks like. Like big old quarry. Yeah, but I think with even less shoreline, less usable shoreline. The interesting part is with holes that deep, you'd think it was targeted towards bottom fishing. 
but you can't bottom fish out of a boat, so maybe they'll add bottom fishing to boats. I don't think that would be OP or anything. It'd just be a really nice thing to have. I mean, they don't really need a new boat type. Just let us put the rods in the rod holders. That's all they'd have to do is enable that feature. Because you can do everything you can do with the bottom rod. Oh, no, you can't do the reeling and stuff, I guess, to tighten the line. We are sticking to the rivers and lakes that we're used to at the moment. That's a big Xander, Tommy. Damn. Where'd that come from? Cool so. This big long cast fail. It's a sad day in hell. pontoon boat? No, it's an inflatable boat. A dinghy. Does he tie up? Oh, look at me. Now I'm standing. This is the one, the fanciest boat where you sit on the gas can there. A little vertical jigging. I wonder if they're thinking about maybe trying to add some technique for that too with those deep holes. Would be another way to address them. Because currently there's just nothing in the game that really works with a 50 meter hole except, I guess, a bobber and bottom fishing. But neither of those can really be used from a boat. Bobbers can be, I guess. actually tried well I probably have at some point I've played this game so much everything's slow for me out here Disappointing. I feel like it's been a while since they've added a whole technique or anything. I guess besides like redoing bottom fishing so I had more options for rigging. Spear fishing, Lackert. Yeah, there you go. 
just gonna come out to my lake and catch all my fish and not even share with me where you're catching them. Some fucked up shit. going to ignore me and talk to somebody else instead of telling me where he's getting these fat bong rippus. Motherfucker. What is this thing? Yeah, you're the one who attacked my lake viciously. Nobody fishes Ladoga. It's just me alone out here. What are you, fish? It's gonna be a fucking one kilo perch. J7. <gasps> oh, how exciting. This is a nine millimeter, seven J. Oh, like here is I say a I eight. Two plus a nine mill. This is a nine millimeter dick. Dude can't read a map. A 14 kilogram reel you're headed to Ladoga? Why do you need a 14 kilogram reel for Ladoga? What you really need for Ladoga is a bait bucket. Because there's so many fish you can turn into bait. Twenty five thousand experience, yeah. They're a rarer fish. That's how experience works. It's not just size, it's rarity. Some scary. I mean, the only thing out here is Atlantic salmon. So, like, big thing out here is Atlantic and fucking sturgeon, catfish. You know that shit. I haven't ever caught a catfish out here. Sturgeon, I have. I think there's some hog pike out here too. You find that one cat. I mean, but that's the same thing they have on Volk. I doubt they're any bigger here than Volk, huh? Not like a ma an amount that matters. Though, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this place. It's not like I've been having any big success. Couldn't get the Atlantic salmon or the lake trout really going for me. Turn my rod sideways after casting. Uh, I mean, usually it just has to do with how I want to reel in my bait. Sometimes I'll in, I'll do this number to put slack in my line so it'll sink further, or so it'll troll further behind the boat. 
but positioning myself is just about how I want to retrieve. Oh, another one. These hooks must suck. Where are you getting spooled at, wizard? Did you get spooled on a carp, Noel? Because that sucks. That was a, a good one, then. Stupid perch. Oh, my boat rental's about to expire. That's all right. I just saw Phantom Rod there. Felt Phantom Rod. And I really bottomed that boat out. Excuse me, Brazier. This used to be my spot right here, man. Favorite spot in the game. Then they killed it. And I think they added more birds. Oh, a fish. What is it? Oh, <gasps> it swam away. This hook must blow. I'm losing a ton of fish with it. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought I caught a bird. Those are like the same. Right? I can't tell. to use this one without much problem. I do not remember the birds. People were talking about Jassy streaming RF4 earlier. Anything but fishing, man. What? Did that bird just turn around? I hate the bird. I know the salvation. Yeah, you just reeled him straight up. I'm on a bridge, so, you know, I'm not dragging him up a hill or anything. It gets real bad when you try to drag him up that mountain over there. I've done that. Huh. You're not getting off. It's because I keep shift reeling because the fish are so far away. Oh, a tiny lake trout. 
What the fuck? How'd I lose tension there? See? <laughs> Easy. And then you let him go. What is it? It's a dumb little perch. Wah. Oh, oh, come on, seagull. Come on, this one's for you, baby. Wah. <laughs> I feel like I altered that seagull's flight path. I'm in like not in a habit of hook setting, but I keep losing them. I'm about to start. It's pretty accurate because they deal with rod length is independent of how it is to lift a fish up bags. Like, I'm trying to talk here, birds. Incredibly noisy, invisible birds. But yeah, uh, each rod's length determines the difficulty of like lifting a fish up in a boat. Yeah, it's disappointing. This is where I set my longest cast record, I think, too. Running at this cliff. <coughs> Oh, they made it harder to get on these rocks, huh? Uh-oh. Well, that's a big taming, yeah. Just lift him up the mountain. Uh oh, they're stuck on the other side of the rock. There we go. Oh my god. Let him go. Throw him back. Shush. Yeah, they really made it so you can't stand on those, huh? Why does it look like a bird just landed on my head in that shadow? I think it's just a tree.
You're fishy fishy. There's a fishy fishy. Rip his face off. Oh, 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 oh. He's getting stuck on rocks and shit. We can swing him over this way. Yeah, swing him, swing him, swing him. Throw him back. He's too small. Why they had to go and kill my smelt spot, butt heads. Yeah, the new map looks great. Excited. It'll be interesting to see what they add with it. I like the bridge that sways independent of you. They didn't think that one through. This way? I mean, I always used to cast that way. That's the way I'd been trying. I just threw a shorty this way. It didn't have any luck. I found like three smelt. One down here, one up here, and then one back here. But like no concentration of them like there used to be. We don't know what the new map's gonna be level wise yet. The highest map currently is 32, so. I just let a fish go by trying to lift it up. You get so much slack in your line up here. Maybe got to grind out 34. We, uh, I'm assuming it's going to be a higher level lake just because of the crazy depth and but they've been randomly slotting lakes in the middle. There's no guarantee. <clears throat> I'll easily be 34 by then, I'm not that far. Experience on Yama's bonkers. Gladoga Whitefish. wasn't a dinky baby, I had to take it. I should put bottom rods down when I'm doing this, but I'm lazy. All you need is an HSV. Yeah, it's, uh, you're better off with something like an HSV. I mean, the occasional Chinook's gonna run you ragged, but
chance of that happening even with a a good reel. Man, they really don't let you navigate down these rocks. Oh, maybe this is where the smelts are. You're in the smelt pond. This is it. God, what if? I wonder if you can even catch a fish in that water. I don't think I've had found any water where I haven't caught something. You know a steel leader is like a couple of bucks, right Gallagher? New water wheel where I spend weeks trying to catch fish that don't exist. Some puddles you tried? Oh yeah, I think I did try those too, now that you mention it. Is there anything about gear? Are they adding any gear or changing anything with gear? There's no hints to that shit, right? We've got Christmas for coming up right now too, so better put some money in the bank. Just in case. Shit slow down for you hardcore or did you leave? Poor wacky worm, just failing me. Well, I want to sign something. I just want to see if this even works. I'm not about ca catching fish, but if I can actually walk the dog without the current, or if it's just this route is too damn short to walk dogs. Just too damn short to walk dogs, huh? That's the only thing I don't like about this rod. Try a pet retrieval. I've, I mean, I tried down the other river. Couldn't do it. I have another rod that won't do it either. That's the same length. There's grayling out here? Who knew? That's what I thought at first too, was it was a retrieval speed thing because of how this has just a really slow gear ratio, how slow it picks up the line, but cannot dog walk. Try even faster. I even tried, because on my regular rods I can get to walk the dog by jerking like this, but I don't know why. There's just like a set. Your rod's too short, bro. Hey, you missed your short rod.
I mean, it still catches fish. It still caught fish on Yama. Caught one here. It just don't get the prompts ever. You'd fish if they screamed. Catfish grunt at you. It's actually them rubbing bones together, but it kind of sounds like they're grunting at you. I go think of it in 29 months. Hey, a fish. I saw you. Tiny little lake trout. That's about all I catch here. Tiny little lake trout. I have steel eaters. Enjoy getting spooled by pike, friend. The rarest fish to catch in this game? I don't know. Just by species, I'm not sure. I'd assume one of the lamprey. But maybe not. You got Vladimir's char. That thing's kind of rare. Also, the dude should keep track better track of his fish. He's constantly losing them. Yeah, Vladimir, that's what I said, bro. don't throw as far, or this one doesn't throw as far. I wanted to try a bigger size, but I'm afraid I'll have the opposite effect of what I'm hoping for. Yeah, I've caught a couple there too. They're really rare though. I've only caught like two in thousands of fish. Yeah, I know. I saw them both. I still don't think it changes their rarity. That's the reason your 900 gram one set a regular record and an ultralight record. I caught him on the angry walkers and on uh, little tiny popper, so I think it's just it's just they're rare. I like the char in general. I think you can set yourself up for better odds of those fish, but at the end of the day, they're just never going to be an every cast fish. Period. Which. I was thinking earlier, I kind of wish they'd just reduce experience values and make more common s varieties because I feel like there's a lot of species that are quite slow. Specifically when jigging because that's such a tedious tactic to begin with. So something that's tedious and rarely yields results, even if it is a big reward, still is not enjoy super enjoyable. Shut up, bird. Oh, 
The birds are the devil out here. It's just perch. Always. What's good? Not the fishing. Nobody fishes this way. <laughs> Get creative. This is it. Secret hole. I didn't even know there was water over there, honestly. You don't ever have to learn to cook. Food's really not that expensive if you were to just buy it. trophy yeah so then that's the other part too right each fish has a trophy and a rare trophy so drop a tree and fish for crappie it would be beautiful Seventy carrots at a time. I guess that's an option. All right, secret hole wasn't the key to success. Fuck you, Ladoga. I used to love you. Now you smell like farts. Stinky farts. That's not what I wanted. Jesus, look at all those tiny perch I caught. I just love catching small fish. It makes me uh, hard in my hard spot. All right. My true home. My new home. Best place in the game. I just wish the dock was more central and not all the way up here at the top of the fucking map. If the town was here, right behind that little island, that's where it needs to be apparently. Oh, you're fancy looking.
There are a couple of spoons. I bought one. I bought this one. I think these are the only two spoons I can throw. This one's just a tiny bit too heavy. The size hook is on it. The size four, yeah, we wouldn't want to downsize that really. an ugly, ugly spoon. Give it to me in a fucking old gold, I guess. Sure. Why not? Oh, there's this one, too. What the fuck's the difference between these? They look exactly the same. Except, like, the art. I did steal. Yeah, those look identical. I don't have anything in green. I'll buy that in green. Call that a day. Oh, there's this one, too. You're slightly different. Loading up on my... Ultralight stuff. You worry there's no store on the new map? That'd be an interesting choice. no wobblers that are light enough, right? Well, that little tiny funky minnow for the other one would be. Oh yeah, the Ulsten crank gets there. Our boy Ulsten. Dodger isn't quite there. This tiny thing. Oh yeah, the original minnow was 50 fucking centimeters, though. I never have luck with that incredibly shallow. Not many options. One meter... Or two meters out of the Ulsten. That's not an L. Is it an L? I've always thought that was an L. It's not. Oh, and uh, no, the Funky Minnow is different. We could downsize the hooks and maybe get it. Yeah, we could downsize the hooks and get it. I'm not begging. I'm just looking. I'm fine without using any damn wobblers. Loaches. Never caught one of those, I don't think, either. I don't know why I just went to the fish market. I don't trust that. It, sometimes it says I have a damn ticket and I don't. Okay, I do. Training for 39 months. This is not the rod. This is the rod. Lure. I don't know why I threw Oh, it wasn't that far. I guess I'm gonna run. 
these two, huh? And then hold. Oh wait, no, I can't do that. No, 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 no. It's gotta be this way. I guess maybe I'll play with my wacky for a little bit and just be down a rod. I can't decide. All right, I got an idea. Uh, we'll. haven't tried it here. No. Uh, it's only hit pike and taman for me and a grayling. I did catch a grayling on a squirrel. An 800 gram grayling on a squirrel. Which was surprising. So we'll see if the wacky rig's doing anything before we Cut down to two rods. There's probably some big pike here, but I never look for pike here. They're probably in all those back channels. 22 kilo. Where's the biggest pike come from? N-O-P. Here. No. Is this? That's, that's not here. This is tuba. I could do a biggest absolute, right? Yeah, that's what I should have done. I did biggest weekly. My brain broke. Tunduska. On a quicker? Come on. On a salmon crank? Wasn't that like yesterday? Oh, wow, that one was like the day before yesterday, huh? Oh wait, no, that's a month off. That was like last month. A month and yesterday. He had three of them in the last like 31 days. You got a weekly pumpkin on a squirrel. That's exciting. I don't have the giant squirrel. I opted for the middle of the road. Probably should have got the tiny. Maybe I did get the tiny. I don't remember. I know I didn't get the giant of either squirrel or rat. Rich ham. Is the password. Capital H and ham. Not in rich. That would be weird. fish on that? No. It's fucking dark. What do you expect, Richard? Fish? At night? Are you crazy? for tasties. That man deserves more than one shame. A 
What am I fishing for right now? Uh, fish. That really is it, man. I don't have a designated species. Big fish. Do you have a fish? You may have a tiny fish. Is that bent that much? It was. I don't know, you can leave those rods in the water. They'll be fine. Where did you get ripped off? It's crazy how long a fish stays on a bottom rod. But not a bobber. There are not downriggers, no. Uh, maybe coming. I don't know. They're adding a really deep lake. I mean, they're wouldn't be any reason for downriggers the lakes aren't deep enough using a downrigger in 10 meters of water seems uh, incredibly lazy <laughs> and ineffective Morning, Zero. They do have the conventional reels and stuff, though. So I mean, they could they could get to downriggers. It's a possibility. Yeah, no. I think the deepest you get is like I'm just gonna rough out like 15 meters or something, but I'm not I'm not 100. percent There's a 15, so maybe deeper than that. But not a ton deeper than that. 18 at Ladoga. But coming up, 50. Oh man, I should be catching those on the ultralight. Common roach. Excuse me, sir. Oh, hi. It went over to this pole instead. Cast that's not very far. Uh, brain broke, forgot how to fish. I tried fishing uh, the original popper with one hook so that it was light enough I could cast it. It just doesn't work. They really punish you for having one treble hook as if two is necessary. Lost four fish on it before I gave up. Yeah, blood worms, flies, regular worms. Well, I'll do a frog. The key to a frog is super shallow. As shallow as your bobber will let you set. I think I caught one on a bottom rig once too, but I like had to lay it on shore. That was efficient. Not good. 
I fucked. I just got to tuba. I, I fucked off on Ladoga for a while and just couldn't get anything going. Yeah, I think weather's big for frogs. Somebody told me it wasn't, but I could never get frogs going when it's cold, which makes sense. They'd be like a reptile thing. Probably cold-blooded or something. Like a water reptile? You know, those ones. The hardest Seth fight? Who's Seth? Why is he such a bad guy? I uh, watched Chassis play Dark Souls, but have no idea what anyone's talking about or anything about the game. I played uh, Dark Souls 2, 3, and Bloodborne, but when I hear you guys talk about Dark Souls, I realize I didn't play it right. I just like to roll around and hit big enemies with swordies. You guys are like discussing the 74 alternate endings and the magic walls, and, and I'm like, yeah, I'm, and you know everybody by name, and I'm like, I, I roll. Slash roll. Not like role playing slash roll, but like slash roll. Two different things. Best way to progress in the game. Concerned you're getting pretty bored. Uh, at level 15, is Bream the best way? I wouldn't say so. I mean, I would say you find a way that's fun. And, like, I know that sounds like I'm kind of being an asshole, but really, man, you you don't have to. If you're going to play the game efficiently, then, yeah, you're, you're going to get bored. Figure out what works for you and and do it. But if, you, if your goal is to just uh, try to level and get silver as fast as possible at all times, you better really like progress. It's inc it is incredibly sick and incredibly free. Which is a big bonus. Try swapping that color around. Or do what I really want and wacky worm with it. It's gonna slow my fishing down, but that's okay. Even myself, I have to tell myself not to worry about my efficiency a lot. Exactly, hardcore. You have to. At 15, I'd be trying to fish Cory, because Cory's tons of fun. It's also probably going to beat you up, but it's tons of fun. I think Cory's 15, right? Maybe not. If not, I'd be... Fucking off 16? Oh, alright. Then I'd be fucking off at Oldberg, chasing giant carp, burning my gear up. What are you saying come on about? Oh, you got a catfish again? <laughs> yeah, I like Balea too. I mean, uh, just you gotta mix it up, in my opinion. I've been to like three lakes today. 
I'm not actively in the like zone to try to get a new piece of gear. When I'm trying to get a new piece of gear, I'll sit down like I did yesterday and grind for five hours. No, I don't like ice fishing and IRL streams are just too expensive for me. They are just incredibly costly. I don't get paid to be here. Is the problem. If I just got paid to stream, then I could do whatever I wanted. But the reality is I got to do what people want. And it's not IRL fishing streams. Yeah, they have a prison pond where you can only fish with a telescopic pole. And the fish are really small and you have to catch a certain amount of fish to get to let get let free. A thousand subs okay? Yeah, dude, do the math. <laughs> this is my only job. Think I'm leaving living a glamorous life over here on that? I can't tell you exactly what I make, but some people guess that's around $3,500 a month. I have a kid. You're a fucking idiot. How about that? It does cost that much. Ass hat. I've done it. You have no idea how much cell phone data is to stream, apparently. Why don't you do it and find out? It was $300 a month to stream fishing. I did it for months. Unlimited plans don't work that way. It's not how they work. They, they throttle your data the minute you go over your caps, which are incredibly small. I can burn up a data cap on a cell phone plan in one day. And then it's throttled to the point that the bandwidth is so bad you can't see anything. But please tell me how to do my job. No, you did, man. Like, whether you meant to or not, you did. You basically just said, hey, idiot, let me explain to you how you should do things. I know, even though you don't. You clearly don't. I'd love to IRL stream, and if you spent more than 10 minutes here before you started suggesting things, you'd know that. I'd love to do it. I wish I could. I tried to do it. I spent money out of my own pocket to do it for an entire summer. <laughs> I'm well aware of the cost, the equipment, the time it takes. I spent, yeah, far too much money. I tried to hang a fucking... antenna on my roof and bounce it off my neighbor's roof so that I could bounce my Wi-Fi out onto my lake. I've tried. And only for my own enjoyment, because there's no money in it. <laughs> just so I could have fun with it. So I could share it with the 10 people that wanted to see it. Hawks attacked by a hawk? Yeah, man. Lego looking fish and food. And that's the other part too. It's so much harder to IRL stream nature than it is to stream in the city or to stream at the beach. Just like these trees look like trash. Now imagine when they're real trees with real leaves and real texture. 
the trees and grass look like shit in this video game. They look worse in real life. And at the same time, they blur the entire image because there's too much going on inside nature for IRL streams. Twitch throttles our data, but... No, and it's not to shame anyone, man. It's never about that. You know, like we were talking about Russian fishing yesterday. Like, I do this because I want to, and for those that want to play can join in. Those that don't, I understand. I just hope people don't unfollow because I take a couple weeks to play a game I want to play they don't like. Uh, but I know that it's not super effective, right? And I'm not mad at anybody for not being here. I do get mad when people think that I have no idea what I'm doing with it, but... I don't expect people to watch shit they don't want to watch. I don't watch shit I don't want to watch. I've been doing it too long to get frustrated by failure. Or whatever you want to call it, right? But I will say I have much shorter views for... <laughs> I think it is incredibly rude to just come in and like... Assume somebody can just afford to do something. That shit does drive me nuts. Just do it. That was the other thing I used to talk about all the time, too. I don't care anymore, but, like, you know, bigger streamers that do sponsored content regular and stuff, you have to be concerned about your metrics. You can't even play the games you want to play. Because you have to be concerned about your metrics, which means your your average viewership, your average uh, unique viewers, average hours watched. Those are how you sell yourself to get sponsors to make more money. Like, y y there's a lot more to this job than just do what you want, man. It'll work out. And there's so many streamers that are examples of that, you know. Lethal Frag's pinball thing. I thought it was awesome. But it was not worth the effort, and... He explained it well when he shut it down, you know. It was something he tried to do, he thought his community would enjoy, and when it was taking away from what he, his community actually enjoyed for just something he enjoyed, why is he doing it? Why is he doing it for them? Giving something to a select few while punishing the rest, right? Paraphrase. I don't know exactly what his words were. It's been years now, but. And unfortunately, chat can be, like, Lethal Frag is a great example of that. And again, not to rip on what he did, his project or anything like that, but I think it was a really good example of his community funded it. Thinking, yeah, Lethal, do what you want. That's going to be awesome. But then at the end of the day, it just wasn't awesome for him. <laughs> It was the opposite. Yeah, you can't swap. I'm, I've said for years, you can't swap your main games to something radical. Uh, n not and start a stream with them. Not when you're getting starting off. So if you're a card game streamer he needs to play three hours of cards and then three hours of something else and try to get his card viewers to watch something else that's how i did it for years and years i stopped whacking my worm for some reason because i was talking New thing for the Prime sub. Appreciated.
nothing, huh? It hit okay through here at night, so maybe it's just move up a little further. Even the top water is not hitting. I got this ultralight and all my successful areas just went to shit. All the areas I was fucking around with top water lures don't work anymore. Or not top water, it's ultralight. Citral? Yeah, to try to be variety from the get-go is, an, I think, an impossible task. I've always said that. It's something you've got to build up to. Basically, you have to slowly build an audience for all types of games, right? Because people just don't watch everything. doesn't matter who you are. The co-carnage, I mean, look at the variation. It's easy to say Ko's streams are always successful, but I bet from Ko's perspective going from 10,000 to 2,000 depending on the game you're playing, they're not always successful, right? Uh, there's Dan's Gaming and all those guys who play a different game almost every single day, right? Like Successful, relatively speaking, but not for themselves. Not relative to their potential. And viewers do always say, I'll watch you play anything. just isn't true. I hate people too much. I'm getting the shorter fuse in my old age for the shit that I used to just like. I was glad because Jassy did it today. This is like an ex word for word how I would have responded. I think I did do one similar already today, but I'm getting a much shorter fuse for the just dumb shit, man. So that I've just had to, like, I've tried to answer nicely a thousand times. I don't expect anyone or want anyone to watch me play anything. I don't want anyone to force themselves to be here on a shitty day either. You know what I mean? It's not good for you. Get the fuck out. Come back later, though. Is Dublin cooking any good? Um, I mean, you get nice food, but it's expensive for what it's worth. I think at some point, yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. I wouldn't do it until I was comfortably in the decent gear i'd make some tea because tea is affordable and useful always leveling all of those skills is more about spamming low level stuff and getting as much value out of it as you can same goes with even ground bait you spam ground crackers to like 35 percent I think pickles are also decent. Yeah, I don't ever fuck. I didn't fuck with cooking until much later, and I'd already leveled it so high off tea. I used to just buy some food once in a while. Sausage on a stick sucks because uh, I think I ate them all already, but he goes when he eats them, and no one wants that. I keep forgetting this. Yeah, same with the bait process. Yep, same thing. You're going to spit on a ton of bread. Make a ton of egg dough and the honey dough and things like that. You get excited and jump into your new levels and want to make the new things. But the reality is you're more efficient most of the time spamming the lower stuff for a while. There's guides for it. Like they were when we got over, they were better in general. You think they really were? I don't know. I just don't feel like I put the effort into them. Maybe you're putting more effort into those and stuff, but 
I, I feel like if I went and spent 10 hours on Old Berg with Doe, I could get right back to where I was. Yeah, the carp update definitely fucked with bottom fishing for me, too, because there's just so much there, man. It used to be, you know, you could swap between your eight does, but now you got to swap between eight does and 800 boily combinations. Something kind of weighty here. Staying down. I don't think it's an ass. Maybe it is. I mean, boilies tell us whatever. Same shit, right? It's, it's the same concept of there's just a ton. Hell yeah, big head carp. That's why I love wacky worm. He did have a big head, very low eyeballs and a big head. I didn't even know big heads were out here. Oh yeah, I did. The pond. I think I remember getting him there way back. Is it actually the weekly record ultralight? Nobody go after big head carp. Thanks. Nope. Somebody got an 11 out here. Silver nasty worm, huh? I usually like a silver. You were probably actually targeting them for... Man, the ASP topwater isn't doing it. Yeah, and you'll probably do just fine, though. No? I mean, that's the thing. I think, though, the options just give you more to doubt yourself. When the bite's not good, there's more to doubt than just I'm in the wrong spot, right? It's maybe I should be using spicy tomato instead of hot peaches. Doing okay on the gibbles and caspians in the tournaments we've been doing with <clears throat> does, but I didn't get any trophies. I find the hardest thing with gibbles and caspians for me now is uh, to just cast that shallow. Can you fish? 
can fish sense the taste of something before they take a bite. I think it depends on the species. Uh, but I don't fuck with scent too much. I do know with some places, in some places, scents, like scented hooks and stuff are even banned. Um, but I think that comes out of more like a weird snaggy thing. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I don't know. I don't fuck with scent too much. Every soft plastic lure you buy has scent in it. But I don't use any additive scents. I don't do enough stationary fishing to where I'm worried about that kind of shit. I'm looking for reactions, not enticing them in from 10 feet away with an appetizing aroma. Yeah, I've used, like I said, those those to me, they're pre-scented, whatever. It's, most time I use a gulp, it's because I'm looking for a certain size or, like, gulp's the only way to get uh, fake leeches that I know of. There's no good fake leeches besides gulp. swing back. I mean, it was hot through here. I don't know what happened with the top water. The asp. But I have had no more success with Berkeley's minnow versus Sculp's minnow. I haven't had more success with one or the other. Except that gulp minnows, because they're so heavily scented and left in a w liquid, they're incredibly weak. They fall off the hook really easy, get ripped apart. Yeah, I mean, they don't have hands. I've said this one a lot lately. Fish don't have hands. They don't really have any way to check something out, feel it, to know it's made of hard plastic, you know, when we're using hard plastic lures and stuff like that. More hardheads? I believe that. Yeah, they seem like a more scent-driven fish. If I reeled in a fish with hands one day, probably adopt it. Give it a high five. Challenge it to a thumb wrestle. Chat, is it true that you're supposed to count to four in thumb wrestling? Like, everyone knows the one, two, three, four, I declare a thumb war. But do you also have to pin them for four seconds, not three? No one does five, six, seven, eight. We have a life, dude. Get on with it. Three count pin. I thought so, too. But if somebody was arguing with me the other day that the reason you count one, two, three, four is that's how long you're supposed to pin someone. And I was like, no. Nah. It's because it rhymes with war. I think pinning longer is harder, not the opposite. They were older than 10, but we like to argue 
about all kinds of dumb things in life. The way things should be. Yeah, I don't know why you would miss pain. You could just hit your table. Don't, though. You have to dodge? Oh, that's not how we played Knuckles. It was just bash each other over one after another until someone quit. Yeah. I don't I thought I think dodging was like legitimately a no no in knuckles. You guys were doing it wrong. Yeah, if you quit you lose, that's the only rule. The dodging one was the one where you held your hands like this and tried to slap the top of their hands. That one was fine. Autofish got stuck in a bridge and broke the blank instantly. <laughs> Y'all, I keep giving you these rods. It better have been a telestick. You're only, no, not even a telestick. There's no excuse for that. Y'all need to listen to my guides on how to set up a fishing pole. I give them regularly, but you guys keep breaking shit. What was that? What was the slappy hand one called? Slaps? Let's call it slaps. But a nice one? Then why was your line stiff enough you could break your rod? Lunatic? I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. I want you all to be successful fishermen, that's all. And women. Hot hands? <laughs> no, that's, that's the, the brand of hand warmers. I'll be disappointed, you be mad, all right. I'm glad we agree. Fish person. <laughs> Alice kept getting mad because she'd call herself a fisherman and someone would say fisher woman or fisher person and she would say no. It's fisherman. She writes her own fucking rules. Go fish, go. Wow, you're cheering for the fish? That's fucked up, man. I gotta eat, you know? How will I eat without burbot livers? Tasty burbot livers.
Is it really far cast? Good. Uh, casting where the fish is is good. No, it, far cast is not necessary. A lot of time I'll fish, intentionally fish right up against shore. Uh, when I'm fishing on the boat, I like to be far enough from the boat that I'm not afraid the boat's interfering with fish spawns and that I have enough line out there for things to sink. In real life, a lot of lures and stuff have like an actual amount of line they want you to have out so that it'll reach its intended depth. Fishing's just slightly more complicated than it looks. Like that cast was unnecessarily far. But uh it's fast to cast far. Yeah, vertical jigging is an incredibly popular thing all over the globe for freshwater, saltwater, rivers, which is literally where you just jig straight up and down off the side of your boat. My favorite fish species to fish for. In real life, uh, I guess catfish. Um, in this game, I don't have one. I prefer spin fishing. Being a successful fisherman is comp a little more complicated than you think. It takes, you got to take some effort and learn, I think. Otherwise, you're going to just have those days where you catch nothing, and that sucks. Nobody enjoys that. Got any monsters lately? Nope. It's been a shitty day so far. Ice fishing is vertical jigging exclusively. Yep. But even, I do it all summer. It's great in the summer, too, because uh, fish go real deep in the summer. So the best way to specifically target a deep spot in the lake is to go straight down from above it. Vertical jigging is literally just lifting a bait up and down off the side of a boat or a pier, a dock. You're jigging vertically instead of horizontally, right? Like we jig step in this game, it's coming across the bottom of the lake. Vertical jigging is going up and down in the water column. Yeah, the summer has two reasons that deep water fishing becomes the best. Uh, one, a lot of fish prefer to go c cool off in the deeper waters. And two, fishing pressure. And I think that's the one that gets skipped out on a lot. There are a lot of fish that will stay in their hole all summer long. The problem is their hole is incredibly obvious to the 3,000 fishermen that have come by all summer long. So if that fish is staying in that hole all summer, especially catfish like flatheads and stuff, if it's staying in that, so that hole all summer long, it's smart enough not to run out and grab every single bait that falls in the water. So it'll get a lot harder to catch. Which is why spring and fall get really good as well. So b besides the fact that they're loading up for winter and the fall and spring they're loading up before they fuck and have babies, it's also the fact that fishing pressure comes way down because there's a lot less people out doing it. Yeah, if they're stupid enough to grab them, they won't be there, right? That hole will be available to the next fish. But there are fish all summer long that stay shallow. They just get harder and harder and harder to catch all year long. Fish like to have access to a lot of things. Like even in this game, like uh, I do better fishing the edges of these holes than I do the right in the center. Um, you know, f that way th if a fish lived here, like this would be a spot I would target looking at a fish map because it's got access to currents from these creeks. It's got access to the shallow water. It's got access to the deep water, right? This would be where I'd be targeting. 
and either fishing from out here into here or from in here out to here depending on the time of year um, I'd rarely be fishing something like the middle of this because why would it be here when it could live here right it's getting the same stuff it's getting here but with the option to go up shallow to these islands to these creeks real estate on the water. Thank you for the gifts up. Z yeah, they got rid of fishing seasons here a long time ago. And you're right, there is more pressure year round. But just means you gotta work a little harder. And it is it is a lot harder to deep water fish without better electronics and stuff. You're just not going to know, you know. You're not going to know what you're throwing at. It's a lot of guessing then. Yeah, a lot of fe fish still have seasons where they're going to be more prone to be caught. It amazes me, though, how many people I see fish, you know, hundreds of times and never recognize the patterns in the seasons that are just convinced, oh, fish weren't biting today. And it's like, no, asshat. They were not biting today because it's, it's not May anymore. And those fish you were picking off their beds that you didn't realize you were picking off their beds have moved on. <laughs> Not that the fish weren't biting. You just need to have more than one technique in your arsenal. There, I don't believe there's ever a day where fish aren't biting. I do think there are days where they'll be less active. Um, and it's usually something caused it like weather again you know i think storms and stuff come through and the days after a storm can be certain species hit or miss but i think it gets fish really fired up when the weather's the water's churning the water's moving because it's like a it's kind of like a a cycle right if you've ever sat at the beach and stirred in the dirt and watched all the minnows come over and eat out of the little sandy muddy cloud you've made I think the same thing happens with storms. The water stirs up, getting the little fish fired up, getting them feeding, which triggers bigger fish to go, hey, I know the minnows are going to be in feeding. And it's like a chain reaction. Damn weather, dude. So important and so dumb. You've never had luck after. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, just immediately after rain, I think it slows down because they go into, like, a feeding frenzy during the rain. I've had great luck in the rain, but I don't have great luck immediately after rain. I'm with you. Going off again, personal experience, not any for sure science. Yeah, rain washes food. Exactly. Just stirs up, gets things moving, washes in food, knocks things out of trees. Bugs probably get fucking knocked into the water. And the waves are smashing them. Yeah, I bet. Probably a similar concept. And I mean, you can really, uh, you know, get into it with the bait fish the, the fishing is a lot about following the the food right so um like if you've ever seen lake trout fishermen around here we use these green lights that float on the top of the water and it's to attract small tiny microscopic shit that attracts slightly bigger shit which in turn you hope attracts bigger shit that the lake trout are after right like it's a whole you're not attracting food for the lake trout you're attracting food for the food, for the food of the lake trout. It's, it's pretty wild.
couldn't get through the first 15 minutes. It was so bad. It's such a shame. I thought the Cowboy Bebop live action was fine. Thank you for the five bucks. I thought the acting was pretty meh. But uh, it was an okay show. I'm watching the actual anime for the first time after watching the live action. And I don't think Cowboy Bebop is very good in general, though. So, like, maybe that's my problem. I keep expecting some episode to rock my world, but, like, it's just... It just hasn't happened. I didn't think the live action was terrible, except the, uh, the acting had moments, especially interactions between Jet and Spike were, like, really uncomfortable at times. Yeah, it's really hard to have something that was your favorite get turned into something else. Doesn't matter what it is, I get that. But I don't think it's actually a bad representation. It got me to finally watch it. All the years chat's been telling me I had to watch it. Uh, it got me to finally watch the anime just because I wanted to see why people hated the live action so much. Yeah. Uh, that's, like, a lot of people know that Asian carp are a dangerous invasive, invasive species to the water. But a lot of people don't realize why. And it's because they're a really big fish that specifically target cytoplankton. So they target the food of the bait fish, right? Um, it's not just a big fish showed up in the water, ooh, spooky. It's that they're a big fish that eat the beginning of the food chain. So not only are they going to affect one species, they're going to affect them all. The things that are the most dangerous are the things that affect the smallest fish, right? Because that's really the, the, the beginning of the food chain. I have watched Arcane. That's pretty good, too. I thought they did a great job with this. Watching uh, Cowboy Bebop now, I think they did a great job with the scenery and stuff in the live action. They really did good with the ships and, and stuff like that, which they could have cheaped out on a lot of that stuff. Like the casino, the casino space station and stuff like that looked really cool in the live action. And then I saw it in the anime and was like, oh, wow, that's like a straight rip from the show. They did a great job with that. And yeah, it's, it, you know, you want to make space cops into live action isn't an easy task. <laughs> Sorry, space bounty hunters. I just don't get the show. I don't, I don't get it. Um... Spike is a completely repulsive character to me. Like, his... I don't know, yeah. He's just not a cool character to me at all. For many reasons. The way he treats Jet is gross. And Faye. And most human beings. Except then randomly he has this super nice moral compass that he's going to follow and give up. All his money for is just, I don't know, it's super shitty, cliche. He is a dick. But also randomly does the right thing so that you can't completely hate him. You know? And by randomly, I mean like every episode he does the right thing so you can't completely hate him. But, like, <laughs> dude has the most fucked up moral compass to treat all of his friends like shit. And then when he does something good, he frequently doesn't even explain it to his friends and why his friends are getting fucked out of their cash and their payday. So what am I watching next? I don't know. Probably not. Not really. I don't really feel like animes for me. I haven't watched enough, I guess. I'm sure I could find some I'd like, but animated never is going to hook me like live action. 
It's weird to call it live action. And like for some really dumb reasons, like I'm not attracted to cartoon characters. It doesn't matter how often they shove Faye's giant melons in my face, it's never gonna turn me on. I liked Arcane. I thought Arcane was very good. Um, I've played a little bit of League, and a lot of my friends have like tried to explain bits of the lore to me, so I kind of knew a little bit. Like, very little, though. Um, but it's very good. Very, very good watch, I think. For Especially if you like League, it's a great watch. Uh, darker than I expected as well, which is nice. It's not all fun and games and happy. It's it's pretty dark show. The art style is super cool. I think, but I'm frequently wrong when it comes to art. I don't know what's good. I like it. You don't need to know a damn thing about League to watch. I think knowing something about League, there is that excitement of it, right? Like, you know, you've seen the cover art, so you know Vi's in it, right? But, like, that kind of stuff is exciting, and I thought. I mean, technically speaking, there's a right and a wrong with arts. Whether there are people out there deciding there's a right and wrong with art, right? Technically speaking. I understand what you're saying, but I'd also get why someone who spent their whole life making art could say, hey, man, that's actually done really poorly, <laughs> and here's why. Doesn't mean I don't like it. You're right there. But it, things can be done poorly and still appeal to you. Gotta convince them to watch it. That's fair. It's good. And, uh... How would I describe it to someone who has no idea of the League verse? Um... It's like a cool twist... Between... Uh... It's a little bit steampunk, you know? It's like a cool twist between, uh... Technology and magic. Um fantasy and sci-fi and it's like I said it's got a nice darkness to it that's enjoyable for an adult magipunk yeah I haven't watched Castlevania I never played Castlevania so I didn't like even get that excited by the concept of it Don't need to know a damn thing about Castlevania. Did that come out before or after Witcher? Because I know I didn't like Witcher. <laughs> okay. I really didn't like the way they wrote Witcher. I liked the idea of Witcher, and had it been written in a linear story, I probably would have enjoyed it a lot more. But the fact that you spend nine-tenths of the episodes going, huh? Where am I? Wh what, what time frame is this? Sucks. And I kind of got, like, away from... Ooh. That's just the first book. Yeah, but, like, you know... It's easier with a book to read a page back. In my opinion, it's easier with a book to read back a page. Oh, wait. Castlevania's the first book. I'm, ex I'm excited to see the second series of the season of The Witcher. But it's nothing what I expected.
You know what? I need to try to get in front of this thing in case it keeps running. Okay, the Witcher is based on the first book. Yeah, it just was frustrating to feel like I needed to watch the show again after I watched it the first time to recognize all the pieces I missed. Because I was frequently found myself going, where am I in this story? That That's my complaint with The Witcher. The world is cool. The characters seem like they could be interesting. And, like, where the fuck are the monsters? <laughs> Daddy, I frequently don't care about my action scenes, but I signed up for Monsters with Witcher, and you get, like, one in the first episode, and then it's done. And then they're gone. Yeah, I bet lacquer. And like, I've, I've watched a lot of shows. I mean, it's not like Witcher's the first to do that, but I feel like they did their flashbacks in such a subtle way. Like, <laughs> it was not it was not always obvious you had flashed back, especially because Witcher don't age. Or whatever his name is. That's from the book. It, it gives you no indication of time shift. Yeah, that's very, very hard to understand. But I got there. And then I did sort of enjoy it. Is that a Burbot? That's a burbot? No, it's a common carp or a wild carp. I love wacky worm. It's so wacky. It lives up to its fucking name, Jasky. not nasty at all it's just wacky i did i started it doge but i couldn't get interested in the first episode and fell asleep i also have no clue what wheel of time is i didn't have anything to be excited about with that series at all I heard it's not great too, but it's tough because you're going off book fans and like, I'm not going to read the books. So if it's the only uh, version of it I get, I might want it. Yeah, it's a massive series. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to commit to it. I tried to do it with Lord of the Rings. Never did. I think where I fucked up, though, is I started with The Hobbit.
I mean, I can compare it in the sense that I really love the Lord of the Rings movies. And I didn't feel the need to go back and finish the books. That was what I was more discussing, like. Or Harry Potter, for that matter. I read, like, all the first six of them when I was a kid and then just watched the last two or three movies or whatever. I don't know. I think I've always been okay with seeing my books and stuff come to life. Like, uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, my favorite book series. I loved the movie. It was just, I was just happy to see my characters come to life. It was nice. I know it wasn't the book. I know it got bad reviews, but I like to see my characters come to life. I was happy about that. a fun book series and a massive book series for just being dumb and goofy. It had good vibes, yeah. I think you're all almost always going to get that. Like, I don't know of like, any book series that doesn't have that. I bet Twilight even got that by the teen girls of the time that read it. I don't remember anyone saying it because I didn't have a lot of Twilight fans in my life. <laughs> it was the very truest to the movies. <laughs> you know what's funny about that? Is I want, it, like, at first I was going to say that's really sad. For all other books turned into movies. But then I remembered that also means those are just really shitty books. So it was really easy to make into a movie. People been catching trophy vendes like crazy, yeah. Are you on Cory? I've seen a lot of them come out of there in the last few days. But yeah, I do think it's a tough one because I understand fans have this grand picture of how it should be in their head and that it's never going to live up to. But I still think it's good for most shows and things to have that creation. I do believe in the reboot to a degree, right? Like I, especially because I have a kid, I am excited to see her share in things like Ghostbusters. Well, we got another one coming, right? The only book I remember reading in school is Hatchet. it's a banger of a book and every time I'm on a plane I sort of hope I crash in a forest and everyone else dies the sparkling vampire thing was like the least bad part of the movie whatever they want to add sparkles to vampires that's fine it's not really any 
weirder than they light on fire. There's a hatchet movie? Wait, wait, wait. There's a hatchet movie? It's teen smut, though, is what's weird about it. The horror? There's a horror movie called Hatchet? <laughs> no, no, no. This isn't a horror book. That's a slasher. That's not the book. That's not the book <laughs> Hatchet. The book Hatchet's about a teenager who crashes in a plane and lives in the woods alone for like fucking ever. Hatchet, not the horror movie? Well, when you look up Hatchet movie, it's just horror. Hatchet movie based on book. It's called A Cry in the Wild. Not called Hatchet. This would be the problem we're having. But there is a movie called A Cry in the Wild. That sounds tight. I should watch it. Nineteen ninety, dude. I was a P. I was a nineteen nineties movie kid. I can watch them all. Watching VHS tapes was pretty much what my family did for fun, besides hunting and fishing. No, 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 no. That's not right, Bougie's boo. That's not right at all. The sequel is he's in a completely another scenario where he gets trapped again through the winter. But it's not that he's... It's not the extended story of I'm still out here, y'all. It's I went home and oh my god, what are the odds I got stuck in the woods again? Actually, did he go back to the plane crash? I think maybe he went back. Maybe that's all it is. And it's not as dumb as I got stuck in the woods again. But maybe, I feel like he got stuck again in the second one. I tried to read the second one because I liked the first one so much as a kid. Killers never die. That's the thing about being a killer. Is anyone watching the Dexter reboot? It's fucking weird. Loving it so far. It's fucking weird. Unfortunately. It's funny you said sequel is him just tripping balls in the woods, and I thought you were talking about the Dexter reboot. Because that's pretty much the Dexter reboot, too. Hell yeah. It's also just more Dexter. 
I don't know that I liked Dexter that much. I think I might have just liked it for my wife. Hope they do a better ending this time. Thank you, Kill the Monk. Endings are such a bitch, dude. I think it's another one we're tough on. Like, I'm with you, the ending for it sucks. But, like, it's such a bitch. Maybe even, like, some of the greatest shows of all time, where, you know, the endings are always debated if it was the right ending or not. It's such a hard thing to do. The Sopranos is exactly what I was thinking of, Jesse. It's a cl it's a classic debate. I hated it as a kid. Hated it. There's also one called Brian's Winter, Tommy. That it, that came before. I've never heard of that third one. I knew there were a bunch of hatches sequels. Dude, the military sucks, though. They need to learn from a 13-year-old boy who survived 54 days in the Canadian woods. The harshest woods on the planet. You were fine with the lost sending. All right, well, you're a lunatic. Actually, I'm going to tell you that I'm also fine with The Lost ending because The Lost was actually a really bad show. Now, hear me out. If you really think about The Lost, or Lost, it starts out really cool with all these mysteries and you're super intrigued, but every time they solve a mystery, you're like, that's fucking dumb. That's fucking dumb. Until the ending where you're like, holy shit, I can't take any more of this fucking dumb shit. And that is the lo that's lost, dude. The show sucks. <laughs> like it's it was a really cool setup for a really shitty story. Sons of Anarchy. So. Yeah, for the first six hundred, because it's a really awesome setup, Jasky. And then it's like, never mind, it's not cool. Sons of Anarchy. I made the mistake of watching an episode where they had an interview with the writer, and he's like, "The show is a classic portrayal of Romeo and Juliet," and I was like, "Dude, you just ruined the entire show for me." And that's exactly how it ended. It's, it's, that's literally all he was writing was a, a biker's version of Romeo and Juliet. And he told everyone that in like season one. So if you watch the rest of the show like I did, you deserve what you got. I love the plot holes and stuff that we look through and we ignore and then get mad at like the ending, you know? Cause like that show, <laughs> they committed like 9 million murders and like had 600 open gunfights. Don't get me wrong, I loved Sons of Anarchy. And sure, the ending wasn't great, but like the whole show is a giant cheese ball. I guess the ending wasn't as fun as the cheese ball. I watched it because I grew up in an Arley shop, so I had to laugh. And, and I, lo I just like to see people punch each other in the face. That's like Four Brothers. Anyone ever seen that movie? That's my guilty pleasure. Marky Mark and his funky bunch and there's just a ton of punch in each other in the face and I love that movie <laughs> just makes my adrenaline go just enough 
to remember I'm still alive. It's like a movie about four adopted brothers who go back to their, or their, their mom dies or some shit and they go back to avenge her death. You know, that kind of thing. It's real dumb action. I love it. Heroes? I never got watched Heroes. Like, I can't even say I got into it. I just never watched it. Yeah, they had the writer's strike fuck up, right? Yeah. Like by fuck up, I mean like fuck up the show. Didn't they bring that show back too, or like a, another version of it? It was even worse. Man, Sopranos is such a good fucking show. Now I want to watch it again, Jesse. Thanks. You never watched the whole thing? Oh. See, I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. It was like one of the first shows that I remember like having control over. I'm going to watch this. That's not true. Digimon. I made the neighbor lady record Digimon and Pokemon for me. The Pokemon show sucked dick, but the Digimon show was possibly the greatest story ever told. Um, <laughs> I'm exaggerating a, a tiny bit. There is a lot of it. Oh yeah, Digimon. Digimon's story was excellent. They just unfortunately were plagued with bad games. All Dog says would <laughs> go to heaven. I can't know if I can ever watch that movie again after the scarring watch with my daughter. So many of those movies are just not good to watch with your children, and I watch them <laughs> alone. And I don't think I'm being like you know, a, a baby, wimpy, sensitive millennial. They're just bad. Fox and the Hound? Loved that movie as a kid. It's fucked up. I haven't seen Land Before Time as an adult, but I bet it's fucked up. I watched Land Before Time every day until the tape ripped. I remember my mom always telling me about how much of a brat I was when the tape ripped. Since when is a movie about an orphan, a friendly street dog, and heaven and hell not a family movie? It was in my good Christian home. Don't forget those street dogs fucking smoked cigars and played poker, bet on horses. Brave Little Toaster, I never really watched. It was always one of the ones people would bring up to me and be like, yeah, I just ain't seen it, sorry. And everyone would be like, how have you not seen it? But like, I grew up in the era of VHS, not cable TV. So if I didn't have it on tape, I never saw it. And my mom and brother weren't renting animated movies. We were 
renting fucking Die Hard and the Saint Face Off, the Jackal, the greatest role. All right, I, I I like Jack Black, but it's my favorite thing to say. It's the greatest Jack Black role of all time is in the movie The Jackal. You should watch it, a little clip on YouTube. He doesn't just get blown away. First, his arm gets blown off. That's a really, I don't know, maybe it's not a really good scene, but it's a really, like, memorable fucked up scene for the time it was in. Yeah, he's a tech weapon seller. And, uh, evil mustached Bruce Willis makes him test his gun by running out into a field while he sights it in on him. Now I'm spoiling it all, but, uh, and, like, it's the 90s, so Jack Black's in, like, a fucking short sleeve button-down and, like, Jinko jeans and tripping and falling and his ass is falling out of his pants and he's crying and Bruce Willis is just yelling at him to keep running. It's a very fucked up scene for the 90s. <laughs> Evil must he had a mustache, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he had a mustache and a turtleneck. I, I don't know, it's burned in my brain. It was a really good Jack Black role, yeah, because like, you know, he chubby fat guy, and he's always been like a weirdly athletic chubby fat guy, so yeah, him running and falling down and tripping and stumbling was very good for him. Coke is water in Hollywood. I mean, he's flexible and stuff like that, too, dude. Like, fat dudes that died from Coke, like Chris Farley, was is nowhere near as athletic as Jack Black. Chris Farley broke a sweat when he did this. He's in a documentary about him doing cock push-ups. That's true. He's a nimble big dude. Nah, he was just a bursty dude. Or John Candy. And Belushi was just like always, he was never fast. He was always slow and strong. John Candy was a big staple in my household. My grandma was obsessed with him. I even watched his not funny roles. Surprisingly, not good. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles is probably still one of my favorite movies. Uncle Buck gets a lot of love and great outdoors, but Planes, Trains, and Automobiles Bucks. What about Rick Moranis? I don't know. I never, like, he's in a lot of things, but he was never the character in anything I gave a shit about. I know that I look like him when I shave, but I'm, I'm not one of those people who was super excited for the Rick Moranis comeback. Or the fucking George of the Jungle comeback. Who the fuck cares about that guy? Yeah, honey, I shrunk the kids, but I cared more about Auntie than Rick Moranis. Like, if <laughs> if someone told me Auntie got punched in the face, I would have been in the streets, dude, flipping cars, lighting buildings on fire. Rick Moranis? I don't care. I'll punch him in the face for, like, five bucks and a smoothie.
do a better job. I'm not shitting on him. I just don't care about him. That's all. Never cared about his roles. How else am I supposed to care about him as a person? Especially in the 90s when I didn't have Wikipedia to Google all about their entire life. Now I Wikipedia actors, so then I like them or dislike them based on that. Where's the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids TV show? I did not know. I didn't have cable. I did when I was very little. My dad stole it from the neighbors. Then got arrested for stealing it. And other crimes. But that was how they caught him. And I was very sad. They disconnected our cable. Yeah, I know. My dad just literally ran a cable from the neighbors to our house. The funny part was we had this, like, really nice lake house that we inherited from my grandfather. And we were stealing cable from the trailer park <laughs> next door. And even, but even when I did have cable, I watched Nick at Night I, exclusively from like four to six. The real formative years, just Nick at Night, dude. Just Get Smart, I Love Lucy, Dragnet. Not even like, you know, a little bit of Bewitched in the other witch show. She might have been a genie. She was a genie. For some reason, everyone would fall asleep in my bedroom when I was a kid. I don't remember why. Let's just say it's not a good reason, chat, because you guys get whiny when I tell my stories. Anyway, so uh, I could never sleep because my bed was packed. So I would just sit there and watch Nick at night until everybody else got up, and then I'd fucking go to bed and sleep like I do now. Always been a night owl, even when I was four. Want to hear this story? My dad was an abusive drunk, so he'd always end up holed up in my bedroom. And I'd actually always just stay up till he got home. Watching Nick at night. You had to ask. <laughs> They can't take it in. I tried to... Yeah, so it would always be my mom and my brother in my bed. My mom snores like a fucking freight train, dude. Always has. It is the worst. It was so, like... This is gonna sound dumb and cheesy, but it was so hard to move out. Because I was so... Like, we always had... After my parents got divorced, we always had tiny little homes. And it was so hard to sleep without hearing that fucking fog horn going off all night long. You know, like when the Netflix kicks on the, are you still watching this? And the show stops playing and you wake up because it gets quiet. That would happen to me all the time when I first moved out.
I tell my daughter that. I used to find my mom snoring soothing every time she yells at me for snoring. Well, your snoring's not soothing, Dad. I also snore. Apparently pretty bad. I should record myself. Random ass rock underwater? Huh. I don't know where you're at. Are <laughs> you stuck on it? <laughs> the islands come way out is the problem I usually have there. That doesn't have like drop offs on the shoreline. I could not get anything really going. Xander down like all the way closest to the dock in the deep channel were going alright, but otherwise, nothing. Hardcore was uh, slamming some uh, Rippus. In the nine meter, nine yeah, nine meter dick down there by the barrier. I didn't hit a single. Oh no, I hit two under one kilo Atlantics. A spinner was doing fine for picking up random little shit. a pee. Did your parents all have a fascination with certain actors like mine did? Like weirdly obsessed? My grandma was fucking John Candy. Had to have every single one of his movies. And back then you had to buy it. You had to own it. My mom was fucking uh, Val Kilmer. Every Val Kilmer movie ever under the sun. Val Kilmer's best movie was Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, no question. Obsessed with What's-Her-Face from Star Wars. Oh, really? Leia? I had that for one, for one, for a brief moment in my teen years. I watched, uh, like, Clerks and, uh, Mall Rats, and I was like, oh my god, Kevin Smith is a fucking comedic genius. I'm gonna watch everything Kevin Smith has ever made. And then I got to the one where Dante gets raped by the schooner guy dressed as a clown. And I was like, you know what? Never gonna do this again. Never gonna fanboy so hard over anyone that I...
The Saint? The Saint was the one we watched Miles all the time growing up. Val Kilmer's quite bad Batman. Yep. I, I got I like I li I wish I had a defense here. I do. I love Val Kilmer. I still love him. Even though he's gone super weird. That was the nipple suit. Um but yeah. <laughs> it really sucks too. Because I would have liked to have seen a, a, a Jim Carrey Riddler. As a product of its time? I mean, that's not true, I don't think. Can you when you compare it to the other Batman movies. So it sucks, yeah. It sucks that the rest of that movie was so bad and I didn't get like a good Jim Carrey Riddler. Yeah, the Mr. Freeze sucks too. We did get a Danny DeVito penguin, though, so, like, you know. <laughs> Take the good with the bad. Thank you for the 58 months. Have I seen the old Dune movie? I have, but I couldn't tell you a damn thing about it except, uh, nope, I can't even, salt, pepper, some condiment, sandworm, spice, I knew it was a condiment. Yeah, Val Kilmer got throat cancer and then, like, attempted to go untreated with, like, uh, you know, uh, not science medicine for a long time. And I think he eventually just had to get a bunch of surgery and stuff. Holistic, yeah. Took a holistic approach to his throat cancer. And wore a scarf. <laughs> That's, I shouldn't laugh because it's cancer, but he did really just don a scarf. Maybe even an ascot. But I always recommend it when he gets brought up. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang is like 
the his best movie. He's not the star, but it's his best movie. It's just a very good movie that I didn't hear much love for at all. With him and Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, Tombstone's a classic. That's why I fell in love with Val Kilmer as a kid, was because Tombstone. And I wanted to be a cowboy. I went all the way to Doc Holliday's grave, climbed the damn mountain to see Doc Holliday's grave just because of that damn movie. Just to read on the grave, his body's definitely not here. And I went, you motherfuckers. Kurt Russell? Kurt Russell has to be an asshole. Somebody made me watch his Santa movies? I don't remember who. That's him, right? Pretty sure. And he was... I guess he intentionally played like an asshole Santa too, though. But it, it felt right. It felt right. You've heard extremely nice. He, he's got an asshole vibe about him. Weirdly, like one step below Russell Crowe in the looks like an asshole. Not bad, Sam is another actor. These were recent-ish Christmas movies, and there's two of them. Was he Captain Ron? <laughs> oh, he was Captain Ron. I haven't seen that movie in fucking forever. Billy Bob Thornton was Bad Santa, yeah. Also, big asshole energy. He's got the energy, Jasky. He's excreting big asshole energy. Which is weird, because usually I find less attractive dudes have less obvious asshole energy. That dude's ugly and looks like he's an asshole. Night, Brop. Punch Tim Allen in the face. I mean, I dislike Tim Allen as a person, but, you know, he's got too many classics that I can't avoid him. Billy Bob Thornton did, Jasky? That's funny. Oh yeah, Tom Cruise has to be an asshole. There's no, there's, I would, like, if, if I met Tom Cruise and he was an incredibly nice dude, I'd probably commit seppuku. With Tom Cruise's fucking sword from The Last Samurai. Take it off the wall. And ram it through my gut. Every time you see Tim Allen's mugshot, I am too because it looks exactly like my father. Arnold is supposed to be a decent guy? I don't know. I see that fucking clip of him bragging about being able to smoke cigars wherever he wants, and I just... <laughs> I question how nice of a guy he is. Yeah, Andy did. Stogies, baby. Who's going to tell him no? I mean, that's true. I never 
gave away cigarettes at conventions. But the only guy I gave a cigarette to... Well, that's not true. The first time I went, I gave a whole pack away. And then I was like, fuck this shit. I'm never doing that again. All these people judge me for smoking. Then as soon as they get a beer in them, they want a cigarette. But then the next convention, or a couple later, fucking Rampage Jackson asked me for a cigarette, which was really weird. Giving, like, a drunk super athlete a cigarette. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think Kanye's just a monster. On an everyday. Because, like, if you were good on the good days, you'd apologize for your bad days. I know, you know, I know plenty of people who got issues, and, and they make sure to apologize for their bad days. And I just don't see that from Kanye. It's just uh, bad days followed by quiet days followed by bad days. Who's going to report on his good days? I think he's a big enough person, like big enough star, Jesse, that people would want to know if he publicly apologized. Because like even just his Twitter feed, you know, he has the platform to be news media himself. Because the majority of his bad days are just him going crazy on Twitter, at least in recent history. <laughs> And, like, I don't even think that shit gets deleted. Which, again, is, like, to me, a sign of there really aren't any days where he's not an asshole. Oh, yeah, media loves Crazy Kanye. I mean, I'll admit his last Crazy Kanye Twitter thing, even I got, like, invested in checking his Twitter. I don't think I've spent enough time with any actor to say that I know for sure they're nice. I've had, like, some nice interactions with people. Weirdly, uh, Travis Barker was very, very nice. Which made me upset. He was, like, super nice and down-to-earth. And this was like right as he was becoming, he might maybe not now, but this was like right as he was becoming mega famous, bigger than his band. This was, I mean, before, again, we're talking about an era before you Googled every single person. Lizard Man? Who the fuck's Lizard Man? Ami James was super nice to me, too. The tattoo guy from that tattoo show. <laughs> it can't be this Lizard Man, right? Can't be this folklore lizard man.
<laughs> it's basically Bigfoot, but in lizard form. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mark Martin was really nice. We spent quite a bit of time with Mark Martin. I hear he can be a huge asshole, but he's, like, super nice to us. I guess he was... He was just straightforward, you know? And I think that comes off a lot as an asshole. He was just a regular dude who wasn't overly... It felt real, you know what I mean? Which I appreciate. I respect that. That was the same with Ami James. It felt like a real talk, real conversation, though you're just a fan and I'm going to treat you like one shit because that kind of stuff is... It's fake, right? I didn't fish with Kevin Van Dam, though. Video game people, though, mostly. A body mod guy. Oh, yeah, I've seen that guy. He'd ha yeah, I mean, he looks like a nice dude. He looks like a fun guy to hang out with. <laughs> His nipples make me so upset. <laughs> I'm d like all that stuff going on with this body and I just I was fucking eyes on nipples one on each I couldn't get off them <laughs> I didn't give a fuck I don't even know what else was there he was green and had <laughs> two large pink nipples eyeing me down he bailed on an event when we were so he was also an alcoholic Rob he was yeah he got incredibly drunk with my father But up until his alcoholism kicked in, he was like a really down to earth. Spent a ton of time talking to my dad about racing and us kids about cars and was super cool with us. My dad got in through the monster truck circuit, got like pretty close to a lot of those people. Who was the original owner of Gravedigger? Original driver of Gravedigger. Dad my dad drove 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 Gravedigger once, like on a whim. They were just like, hey, we need somebody to drive. Can you do it? And Dad's like, I can try. And then it was like back in the day where Gravedigger's whole thing was just to like come out, hit one jump, and drive back in. They'd play the fucking Bad to the Bone song. Yes, Dennis Anderson. But. Um, yeah. The uh, Tuttles from American Chopper were all super duper nice. Surprisingly. When you were five, dude, I have so many. <laughs> that was our life. My dad raced in the mud, which was like monster trucks were the main event. And then you'd have like tractor pulls and mud races and demo derbies, right? So... We were the sideshow to the monster trucks, and that was every single weekend of my childhood. And it sounds sweet, dude, but like, it, even seeing the teacups makes me upset. I'm so I hate fair rides. They're all frustratingly bad and nauseating after having to go every single weekend. The OCC choppers guys weren't dicks, though. Their lawyers were. That. That was the whole story. We met the Tuttles, told them our story, told them how they were an inspiration to us opening a bike shop, blah, 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 blah. And they were like super cool, spent a ton of extra time with us, talked to us. And then we get home and like a week later, we're getting sued by Orange County Shoppers because our logo is similar to theirs. Um, so my dad called them up because they actually gave him their personal card. And my dad called them up screaming and yelling, all pissed off. And the guy, he's like, I had no idea. We just have lawyers that that's their job is to just protect our brand and they ended up dropping the lawsuit anyway so but yeah I'm sure that I'm sure at that point they were legitimately had lawyers that probably weren't even hired by them they were probably hired by discovery to just protect the brand right
Jean-Claude Van Damme was exactly how you'd expect. Which was uh, Jean-Claude. I don't think he's ever acted. I think that's just him. AC Slater was really nice. Mario Lopez, is that his name? Or is that somebody else? That's his name, right? No, I never saw that doge. My girlfriend's mom dated him for a brief bit. Hey there, little pond. I have no idea if John Claude Van Damme lost a bar fight, but it sounds believable. You can train your whole life to fight and then get surprised. That makes sense, Onion, because my girlfriend's mom was also a coke addict. So I believe the two. <laughs> those two. Those two stories, I believe. catch a carp. I only ever catch them on accident. Never when I try to target them. I wonder if just slow it way the fuck down and like literally just drag it across the bottom instead of trying to actually jig step it. We know other shit eats it. Though this isn't like a great spot for a carp, the middle of the pond. Should probably size up the hook a tiny bit. I don't remember the Mario Brothers movie. I, I, I don't at all. I should watch it. There must have been nothing about it that was uh, worth remembering. The Doga, huh? Just not getting it, Jasky? I think you'd have to get off the boat, man, and do some bottom fishing and jigging. With all the, there's like three types of char there. It's super cold at night for the burbot. I think that would be the only way. They've got the white fish there too. There's like two or three types of white fish. I think that'd be the only way to make money at Ladoga. The boat just doesn't seem to do it. The char are just logs. They're not hard at all to reel in. The Goomba's faces were worth remembering, were they? Yeah. And your only other unlock was what? Uh, that's frustrating, though. Yeah, that sucks for you. Because, yeah, you're basically headed back to Cory. Though Cory's been good, but... 
I mean, unless you just try jigging it, Jasky, without the bottom setups at all. I did okay jigging it earlier, but I didn't run any bottom rods on top of it. I'd probably just throw bottom rods out with mayflies and hope to catch random junk on those. And jig it. Because the char are 50,000 experience or something like that. The gray char and green char or whatever other colors out there. Red. Red and gray. You got stuff on small spinners? I got decent stuff on small spinners, but not fast enough. It just wasn't consistent at all, you know? So, so much driving to get a couple of fish on spinners felt bad. But yeah, I picked stuff up on Spiker and Aquila's, actually. I tried Aquila's out there. I'm too afraid to run my Christmas spinners on my ultralight until I get some backups. I did okay on top water there too. Actually, I think top water and spinners ended up being my top two. I was using the itty bitty stuff, the like super small ultralight popper and the original popper in the back. The two best areas for me were the, I'm trying to think the maps laid out. The town is here in the northwest, right? So that southwest hole of like five meters and under the bridge were like my best two spots for consistency's sake. The deep channels weren't doing shit for me. That keeps it low. It's too slow. There's some monster pike on Ladoga, I think, too, but I've never really tried to chase after him. I did good in the channels when I was jigging, but nothing trolling. Or I wouldn't say even good when I was jigging, but successful. It was a fish every other cast or something. Sounds like I'd ring the squirrel there. I tried to go. I went out there while you were playing Dark Souls, hoping I could find a really hot spot for you, and then I got frustrated and left. <laughs> but I tried in your honor. I should bring the squirrel. I'm seeing a lot of people targeting the whitefish out there. They must be hot out there right now. I used to love Ladoga casting off the bridge was so much fun. Set up two bottom rods and casting off the bridge was so consistent. I love when you can get two bottom rods going with your spinning. It's the best, but it's so rare. Yeah, oh, that's a Cory Whitefish. The bridge was actually doing okay. It was just perch. And I don't really want to catch perch anymore. I'm going to give one more shot. I just wanted to catch a carp on this. I don't think I've ever caught that many carp in this pond. I wonder if I should just sit longer. 
I've only ever caught carp accidentally trolling, never intentionally on a wacky worm. Sometimes there that line tightens up like something's trying to bite it and doesn't. Oh, a fish, probably a perch. Game felt bad for me, gave me a perch. Shame, Tommy. Much shame. I'm really curious to see the new like, because I just I'm I don't know how they're gonna approach the the depth without changing things, unless they expect us to jig off boats the whole time. Because I don't I just feel like jigging is not a super popular technique, at least not in my crew. Oh yeah, I was catching quite a few grayling and and they're not terrible experience and money in the. What's changed? They're adding another lake, and it's got a 50 meter hole in it. So it's an interesting. It's and it's like basically just a giant lake with a couple of tiny islands in the middle of it. So and there's not really any ways to approach that that currently exist in the game besides bottom fishing, but with no land to stand on to cast at it. You can't bottom fish with a boat. It's not a thing you can do. Oh, I can't get where I was trying to go. You have to expect a bottom boat? I mean, I'd like to believe in it. I'm coming back, Jasky. I'd like to believe in a bottom boat, but I don't. I have a shitty boat ticket? Hell yeah, I do. Yeah, it wouldn't be a difficult change. Everything's there for it, basically. But it's a huge change to the... I mean, I guess my, uh, my theory with it is, would they really add just a bottom boat to that lake and not consider adding it to other lakes? That seems, that seems like a strange one to me. And if they were going to add other things, that's like a, a big game change. Maybe. Or downriggers is another option, yeah. They did add all the big conventional reels, so downriggers aren't far-fetched either. There is an anchor mechanic. It's that K drop anchor button. I think it's just a, a, a design choice. They just said no. It's not like a. It's not like it was a. Like I said, the stuff's there for them to do it. They just made the choice. No. Nah. Oh, I don't know what size hook to use. Let's go with like a that. Uh, I don't know if it's stonefly or mayfly. We'll do one of each.
did I do the first one? Eight? If I'm not mistaken, this hole's about 40 meters from here. I measured these out back in the day. If I hit the clip or not, we'll leave it though. I have some ground bait on these, which is probably a bad idea. I'm sure, we'll do something like that. Well, try treat me today. Uh, I love it, um, but I haven't had much use for it. <laughs> I, it's weird. All the places that I was hammering fish on ultralight lures have just stopped the hammering fish. I'm gonna try jigging it a little here. See if I can't get something producing. Oh, I fell in a hole there, huh? Am I ever climbing back up that? We'll worry about that when we get there. Oh, I have a fish on. Oh yeah, I'm finding the fish, Jasky. 76 gram vendes. I did catch one char down here, like right in the end of this thing. This lake's not the worst for me, but I'm with you. I think the more quality the water looks the worse it is on my eyes like Corey they revamped the water and it looks great from a realistic standpoint and changes quite a bit with the wind and stuff which is really cool but it's uh, exhausting on the eyes give me the glass waters a fish. Shitty lake trout. I mean, that's two for two, but they both suck. Three for three. the joy and the negative of being able to cast far. You have to then reel things in from far away. Three for three and they all suck. I wonder if jigging one of the ultralight spoons would be better. It's an awkward place to get jig step with the actual spoons and jigs if you're not casting straight down the channel. If 
I'm going to do this, I should sit in the boat. <laughs> that way, if something happens, I can chase after it, huh? So three out of four, but the three fish, none of them were worth a piss. All right, let's upsize then. What did I say I was going to try? Oh, a spoon. I don't know if spoons do great here or not, but let's try one. That's too far. That's just too damn far. It's a big perch. I haven't had a trophy in so long, I forgot what they sound like. Then the base. Well, that's basically Alvaro is casting anyway, huh? Give me a hog. I really need to get in my boat. Make sure I get in my boat. Oh, there's a little one. Yeah, the numbers feel way better casting here, even than trolling. Like, even if they are a little. Not trolling, I didn't do anywhere near this well. But I'd like to see something that was worth a piss. I think they made that worse. If you are shift reeling the game, I've lost a lot of fish shift reeling today. I know it was always worse, but it feels like one in fucking ten now. Oh, I didn't change the hooks on this either, did I? More like perch ninja. shouldn't actually wait do you anchor lowers in the back maybe in the back kind of sounded like it raised in the front Zev. Is that one of those weeby shows for weavers? Oh, a Keanu Reeves movie. Basically an anime then. I 
Come on, big fish. Those casts. They're so far. Make me have to pee, boat water. It's too calm and quiet. Like I'm splashing around in the tub. It does kind of just like sound like someone moving their hand in the bathtub. can't unfocus on it now. Don't understand the hate for Waterworld. I mean, it would it's successful now. It was just a flop when it came out. It was also like the highest budget film of all time at, when it came out, so Ooh. That's what I was hoping to catch those bottom rods. Didn't expect it on a spoon. They weren't as good as I thought they'd be either. For the work. Dennis Hopper was in everything. Is he dead? Shit, 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 shit. I'm going to lose this fish. I did lose this fish already. Why did I do that? I keep doing that. I keep lifting it up and letting the line out, and it kills the tension instantly. <laughs> the rod's so stiff and short that it kills the tension on my bigger rods. My bigger carp rods, they're so long and, and soft. You can let the rod back down without losing your tension completely. Where'd that one come from, Jasky? I haven't seen a big salmon out here yet. Was that all the way out in the deeper edge? No, like where I am? Oh, all right.
Finn Raw. Thank you for the 79 months. Do I have any size 4 hooks? Thought I did. Was that trolling a wobbler, Jasky? Trolling a popper? Wow. All right. Yeah, when the fish has a little more weight, it'll pull the rod, keep the rod bent, keep the tension on. I've never used the Apple TV thing, I have no idea. My stream is quiet, though, so... Is that a fat daddy perch? No, that thing looked insanely large. And then just wasn't. Oh, I didn't switch spoons like I thought I did. Yeah, that's so weird, Jazzy. I thought for sure that was at least a one and a half kilo perch, and it was 500 grams. Ow, my body. It's exploding. I wonder if my ground bait's fucking me up there. They were very quite quite accurate, yeah. Oh, you can see that thing on top of my camera now? It's probably been that way. It's a thing to keep the light from washing out my camera like that. No, it's a Steam gift card or something? Oh, no, it's a Sportsman's Warehouse gift card. Appropriate. I stuck a post-it over it once. But no, that's a Justin thing. That's uh, Justin hides behind his camera and always says to masturbate. And then I did it one time. Not to masturbate. And the minute I turned the stream on, I forgot to take it off. And like, chat had to tell me to take it off. And then it was like everyone knew is worse than just the chance you hack my camera and watch. <gasps> a smelt! Oh, almost a 420 ripus of the bongus. Yeah, the Rippus and, and Smelt used to be a lot more consistent out here and make the trolling a lot more enjoyable. Like Cory, how you get the Vendace and Draylings and stuff to fill you between the big lake trout.
I hear a bell going off. It's not ready yet. It's ready now. A fucking perch. Shame. I didn't tighten that line. It'll be fine. It'll work. This motherfucker. ready. Oh! <laughs> it comes 110 meter lengths. It's not possible to join lines in this game, no. You can buy bigger spools, though. But no, they haven't learned the uni knot in this game. What is it? Is it a white fish? A vendes. Got my bottom fishing up. I can tighten my other pole, that's true. Dumpster gravy. Because you feel guilty about the whole fishing pole thing? That's a ton of money. Thank you so very much. Seriously. Happy holidays to you and your family. Stop with the vendes. I can't. I'm no good at fishing. What do you want from me? Maybe if I could feel the bites better. You know, thank you. That's the best compliment a man could receive. Why does this thing keep jerking down like that? What is that? Sha is that a bird creating that shadow? 
Oh, I have a fish on. See? Birds, man. I fucking hate them. I'm sorry. You gave me money and then I caught a vendor. Seriously, thank you so much. And 50 gift subs? All right, now. All right. Thank you, seriously, Christ. It was a Vendes. I don't deserve this. Uh, let's try. I gotta order Christmas presents. Thanks for reminding me. I'll spend it all on Christmas presents. Her Christmas list just keeps growing. Are you jingling again? So, that's fish. Uh, what's that Reddit page about? Like, are you the asshole? This is two years in a row. My ex-wife has done this fucking, like, our daughter doesn't play with the toys she has. We shouldn't buy her a bunch of toys for Christmas thing. And, like... <sighs> oh, buddy... Go boat. And like, I just straight up this year is like, well, you don't have to, but I'm going to buy everything on our goddamn list. Am I the asshole? <laughs> Maybe the way I said it. eight her Christmas list is like total dumpster gravy just paid for it. that's the thing that it's not like she wants a horse well she does want like goats and rabbits and things those I'm not gonna get But, like, the toys part. Yeah, she's so, like, she's addicted to her tablet, you know? And, and so she doesn't play with her toys a lot. But she does when her friends are over. And she likes to, you know, have them. A lot of what she watches is, like, videos of fidget toys and stuff like that. And, like, she wants to have them. Even if she doesn't want to play with them, she wants to know she's got that one when she watches the video. Sort of like you guys in your video games. I swear, you just buy them, own them, and then watch the streamer play it. You know who you are. All right, now we chase this fish into a corner where it can't run. God, dude. I've never felt so Scandinavian. Come here, you stupid humpback whale. Or, wait, no, which whales are they? Oh, I'm gonna let it run. I don't have like 100. 50 unplayed games if it weren't for lack or forcing gifts down my throat and then yelling at me when I don't accept them and then yelling at me when I don't play them after I accept them. It's like, dude, 
you, you, I get, I get yelled at if I don't take them. Yelled at if I don't play them. Forced the gifts upon me. Don't swim that way. Don't swim this way. That's the way you go. That's right, fish. You listen when I speak. Oh, wait. You're really close to the boat. You're swimming around the end of my rod tip. There's a reject button that gives you a refund. Oh, do you want me to press that one? <laughs> I thought once you bought it, it was too late for that. <laughs> Genuinely, dude. Instead of never playing the game, yeah. To be fair, most of them I like consider playing. There's only been a couple that I would have been like, nah, not for me. I mean, most of them look interesting. Look at the cool water drops that hit me in the face. Looks interesting means I'd probably watch Jasky play at first. Who's jingling? I think it was you. The salmon are pretty OP. They're very strong. That thing ran hard for four and a half kilos. Bottom fishing. The beaver one was cute. It is cute. It's just got no, no difficulty to it. Which is my problem with most uh, city builders. I threw that from the boat. Was I out there in the middle though? I don't remember where. I, I think I threw it from just like right here, didn't I? I had no, I, I literally thought the reject button meant you just then have a gift in your inventory. I'm not even fucking with you. I bought gifts before, uh, and I, I thought I paid for them up front. It was still fun, Lacker. Got me through the, the night and got to make a lot of beaver jokes. There's value in a beaver in a good beaver joke. Dude, Ruby Red Squirt fucks. I forgot how good it was. They haven't had Mountain Dew in weeks. I found like this little mom and pop grocery store up by the lake that had some like mostly flat. We don't have any of the Mountain Dew flavors that aren't regular green Mountain Dew. And I like the other flavors of Mountain Dew. And they're gone. Apparently a Mountain Dew factory blew up or something. But I finally bought out my mom and pop shop. So today I was looking in the cooler... Upset I couldn't get my flavored Mountain Dew. And I remembered how much I used to love Ruby Red Squirt. And it fucks. Can't find Cherry Coke Zero Reliable either. Yeah. Dude just wants his code red. 
That's all. When the code red ran out, I started drinking the melon madness or whatever. Major melon. And that was pretty good, too. Then that ran out on me. You just upset that something's called ruby red squirt. Yeah, dude. Ruby red squirt. Squirt. Order from Amazon? Can you actually get soda affordable on the Amazon? I'm old, y'all. I go to the grocery store. Look at Gamer17 setting records. Doesn't carry Barks anymore. Barks is the best root beer. And it should does what a gamer, right? And it deserves that respect. A and W and Mug suck. It does, it's got bites. Not even mentioning dads, no. We're talking about real, everywhere available, except that guy's grocery store, root beer, not. That's like discussing, hey man, I like the fucking cheeseburgers and hot dogs and you being like what you're not even gonna bring up steak and i'm like no it's three times the money and it's a lot harder to get and it only lasts a fucking two days in my fridge there is actually a local place i could buy a bunch of craft pop and soda i forgot about that Slow. We have a local arcade that the dude's obsessed with old-timey sodas. Cheeseburgers and steak. Now, we were comparing the three top brands of root beer, and somebody threw dads in the mix, and I was saying how that's just an unfair add to the mix. It's in its own class of specialty. Third soda shop. Yeah, one of my family friends opened an arcade many years ago and just opened his third one, which is really cool. They're all classic arcades and soda shops. And it's like, uh, it's a really good deal, dude. Like, it's worth a little drive even. It's five bucks to play all day, and he's got really awesome classic arcade and pinball machines. Because arcades are just dead now. And in the malls and stuff, the arcades have turned into these little gotcha rooms. It's just crane games. How do those... I've never actually played one, but how do those crane-like games work where they have, like, cell phones and shit like that? How do those even work? Yeah, little kitty casinos. Rigged. 
Oh, okay. Didn't Bear Taffy win something dumb out of one of those? But you actually do. Do you actually pick up a phone or, or something, or is it like a, you pick up a a ball that has a random prize inside it? What, what are you picking up? I've never even like looked inside one. I always just assume they're a huge scam and walk by them without even go gazing inside the box. It's just the box, okay. Yeah, that seems incredibly difficult to grab. When my dad quit drinking, he got obsessed with crane games and s the stuffed animal ones to the point that it got like out of control, the amount of stuffed animals we had. He couldn't find ways to get rid of them anymore. Which is a really weird addiction to get into. A one in seven hundred being wow. Do they have to list the odds on that? Like they do a, or like, if you look at a scratcher, it's got to give you your shitty odds so you know. No? Oh, cool. It's a game of skill. That's cool. The world's fun. And that didn't cast very far because it touched the water. I haven't touched a crane game. <laughs> My daughter never lets me forget it, but uh, we were at some theme park thing. I think Wisconsin Bells, and they had a giant crane machine to win like some big fuzzy stress ball, big giant one, and she really wanted it. And I went up there with a $20 bill to give it my best go. And then I just saw one sitting on the ground next to the machine, and I just was like, we're just going to take this one, honey. And she's like, Dad, I think that's stealing. And I was like, it might be, but we're going to take this one. <laughs> and she never let me forget that. But, like, it was just sitting there, y'all. I'm sure some kid was probably riding a ride and left his stress ball there, but, like... I wasn't about to dump $40 in there while my kid sat over my shoulder excitedly wanting one when I could just take the one laying on the floor. They only came in two colors, so it's not like the kid could call us out. She is always reminding us of all of our mistakes to make us feel bad. Every time we go on any kind of trip, she reminds us of the time we forgot to buckle her in on the way to Disneyland, which was like five years ago. This, mo <laughs> this morning, she probably won't let me forget this morning either. We were, so my road is a T and then there's an immediate 90 degree curve. So the bus was coming and I'm trying to get my daughter to the bus. I had plenty of space, but I wanted to make sure I had plenty of time to get her out of my car at the bus stop and get her on the bus. So I gunned it, forgetting that it was winter, and like Tokyo drifted around the curve in front of the bus. 
and I'm, I expected a call from the school today about it. Excellent, yeah. I didn't. I did not interfere with the bus or make it have to slow down or do anything out of the way. But it was obvious that I was trying to hurry to get to the bus stop, and made an ass of myself instead. Now I'm the cool dad who drifts in his Nissan Rogue. I thought I was going to lose it, dude. It was bad. It's a big banked 10 mile an hour corner. You took out your neighbor's fence? Yeah. Reminded me I need new tires on the back, for sure. Fish, fish, fish. It's picking up for you a little, Jassy. You're at least getting flags. I ain't getting shit. My mom wouldn't let us go to driver's training until we did donuts in the parking lot on the snow and ice. It was a rule. Uh, it's a Russian fishing term. It just means big enough to be worth something. So like in America, I, I call them capers. But it's because it has the little flag indicator at the top. We call them flags. No flag, worth nothing. Like one penny, a couple of bucks. Depending on the species, the flag can be worth a lot more or nothing. When I was here earlier, the orders were pretty good, Jesse, for like random shit, like perch and vendes and stuff like that, which was, would be nice. Because it added quite a bit to my, my total. Ice and snow are a lie. Yeah, it's warming up here. We're getting 50 this week. I need to get Christmas decorations put up. How to make silver when you're level 13. I don't know. I haven't been level 13 in three years, so I don't know what's hot right now. Uh, Russian fishing in general, though, it's a balance of uh, efficient fishing for your gear. So a lot of it's going to depend on the gear you've got and the types of fishing you can do effectively, right? Like, sure, you'll get big experience and money out of black carp and grass carp on Old Bird, but... If you're on four kilo reels, you're going to burn your shit up and repairs are going to make it not worth your time. Which is why you'll see a lot of people get into like bream fishing or even go to Balea and chase graylings and brown trout. But I do not know what's hottest right now in, in terms of the low level lakes. Fish. Is it going to be a Laker? Is 
feel like the way it's acting, it's about got. I guess it could be a Zandy. It'd be a good Zandy, I think. And it's a. Uh, Okay, that better be a big perch, because that thing looks massive. My first trophy in days, and it's a fucking perch. Yeah, on the ultralight run. It's still just a perch, y'all. The swing and the hook is a bit dangerous. I mean, that's a two meter rod. It looks shorter than his depth perceptions offered in this game. You'd have to really fuck up to snag yourself with a two meter rod. What is that ugly critter? Is that a bream? It is. Challenge accepted. I mean, if you just let line out, it'd be fine, but... What is the biggest perch of all time? Three and a half kilos. Well, one of them was caught right here on Ladoga Lake. This one was caught with a frog. I forgot you can fish with frogs. One of those was set recently. I don't know that I've ever used the frogs I've squished. Yeah, I, in the game I don't think I've ever used frogs. I use fake frogs all the time in real life. I've used real frogs in real life when I was a kid and I was a sicko, you know, like kids are, real sickos. Exactly, Gassy. Now you hook them alive and throw them in. Just like you do a fish. It's I don't know why it's worse than with a frog than a fish. I think because fish are dumb. Frogs are dumb too, though. I don't know. The issue with fishing a frog is they swim to shore. So you just got to keep throwing them back out there. And then he swims to shore. And you got to throw his ass back out there. Yeah, they got legs and hands. That's what it is. Hear you, Bell. I'm enjoying this more than I was. The variety's been okay. That thing looks huge too. 
the running back and forth to shore bit I could do without him. My boat ticket's about to expire, so. Hey, Trippy. I'm not bowling. That one's slack. Yeah, it seems like it's picked up pretty good. At least the consistency of fish. Even if they're all perch. I'm not even mad. Go see if I can get another boat ticket before this expires. I don't want to be trapped. Bang. Well, I'm dropping frames. Stop that, internet. How will they see the fish if the frames are dropping? The high action content. Jump it. Jump it. Jump it. Jump it. Could have been cool. I'll check the old cafes for us, Jassy. See what we got cooking up here. Beautiful little diner. I eat here every day. <laughs> Fuck you, bird. Actually existing. Uh, two 300 gram rippus of the bongus. One Ladoga whitefish. Eight 350 gram perch. A blue bream. A vimba. It's, it, the rest is just gar. It's not good, is what it is. Bad orders. Rippus. Purchase. White fishes. Well, that trophy perch is worth 15 bucks. Oh wow, five kilo Atlantic salmon is 22 bucks. I don't want to tell you how much I've made Jassy, but it ain't good. It ain't good at all. about to pick up though I can feel it eight 350 gram purchase yeah eight of them three 300 gram ripus bongus extraordinaris I might try further down with my bottom rods because I know I caught char over there. <laughs> Those aren't quite there, Jasky. You could, uh, you know, shove some dirt in their mouth. I didn't even realize the birds exist, like they land and move. I thought they were just obnoxiously spawning in and flying over my head. <laughs> Get out of here, birds! I'm a villain now. Yeah, they're a nightmare, but they move, you know, that's nice. I like that. What 
Let the birds steal my fish. I'll cut them. Dude, I'm still weirded out about the guy yesterday who came in and was like, Hey, I'd like to get better at fishing. All my friend, All my friends always get to kill a fish, and all I have ever killed is a seagull. I'm still weirded out by that guy. Like, I don't think he understands the point of fishing. And how did he kill a seagull? I didn't remember his name. I'm sorry, Jesse. We can say it was Randy Johnson. Is he a notorious fish, want to murder fish man that also murders seagull? might be here. Now I'm on a list. He's putting on lipstick and Yeah, I mean, I'm here for a few less seagulls. Don't get me wrong. I just you know was more weirded out by his approach to the situation. Yeah, I on stream got my line wrapped around a seagull. But I just slowly pulled on the line and slowly spun the seagull like a top and unwound him and got it free. Thankfully. Because I wasn't, I was really not looking for like forward to years of the highlight of me battling a seagull for my line back. By eating bluegill? Yeah. Regularly. I live on a lake with blue eel in it. The kill was a little extreme. It was. It, it was, for sure. That was all. I was just concerned that you wanted to do more killing than catching. My brother's the opposite. He loves to go fishing with me, but he's absolutely afraid of killing the fish. Including, like, we do a lot of catfishing and use a lot of cut bait and live bait. And I'll, like, hand him a piece of a dead fish and he still doesn't want to put it on the hook. And I'm like, it's already dead. I already did the, the, the dirty work. His soul's on me. I wonder where fish hearts are. Are they big enough you could spot? Can I eat them and consume their souls and maybe gain their power? This fucker has swam a distance. Excuse me, sir. Where have you gone? Sir? What kind of fish are you? That you just swam around the corner. Ooh, 14,000 experience for this chubby little fella, Jasky. <laughs> he looks like a goat at a petting zoo.
Oh, were they breasts? I didn't even think about fish breasts. No, the cafe order was for a white fish, but of the Ladoga variety. Caught a red drum. Nice, Hobbit. I caught a red drum, and I was all excited to eat it, but there was some red algae shit going on, so they closed the red drum season down. And, like... I would have never known that, and I would have eaten it, but I randomly was like, let me just Google to double check the size to make sure we got this right. And I'm Googling, it's like, season closed early due to red bloom, and I'm like, oh, piss. And me, I'm a Boy Scout, so I let it go. That was a weekly record. Yeah, I love the slot stuff. I hope they bring that. I hope they bring slot fishing up to other states besides saltwater. It's a great concept. Big fan of slot fishing. For those that don't know, that means you can only keep fish that are a certain between a certain size. Most places, a fish has to be X inches big to keep. But in the ocean, there's a lot of slot fishing where it has to be between 20 and 28 kind of deal. It wasn't about making yourself sick. It was about managing the population of the fish, Zero. There's th this algae kills off a ton of fish, so they shut down seasons to... You know, make sure that the fish aren't going to get even further damaged. The way I was taught to kill a, a fish was to tonk it on the head with the big spoon. You know the one in the drawer that you're not sure what it's for? It's really big, that one. You're like, that's too big. That one. You tonk them on the forehead with that really hard. You still use this as an ice cream scoop? Yeah, that one. That's exactly the one. Sometimes you use it as like a cereal spoon or something because your other spoons are dirty. Nah, it's like the true tablespoon, right? I don't know. The big one. Oh, you used an ice cream scoop to kill the fish, you were saying. Yeah, that's the same concept. Ice cream scoop makes more sense. It's, it's heavier. The problem is being like eight years old with a little spoon in your hand trying to get whacking force to blunt force trauma of fish was you weren't always successful in your first whack and then you're just beating the hell out of a fish with a spoon <laughs> Bottom fishing definitely seems better down here at the end. Dude, Soul Carbine, I'm so glad you said that. Like, dude's a freak or whatever, but I've been telling chat for years I knew guys who would bite the sides of a duck head to kill it. It's got to just be something to freak kids out. And I'm assuming the same goes with this dad who was crushing fish skulls with his teeth. But I thought I was the only person who'd ever witnessed someone murdering an animal by tooth force trauma. But now I feel better. Normal. Yeah, I assume it's some um, let me show you how cool I am.
My dad had them too. He'd uh, hammer a nail into concrete in one hit. That was his favorite one. Oh, and over uh, uh, eating. Um, everything. Every time we had a meal, it was a, uh, an eating competition. Both how much can you eat and how much can you fit in your mouth. His favorite one to do to, like, adults he just met was bet them that he could eat an entire... Whatever meal they'd order him off the drive through menu, he'd eat it all in one bite. If they'd pay for his food. Watching my dad shove Big Mac and fries in his mouth. Over and over and over. Just for a free meal. Kids on the fish barrel would fish hunt would bite the heads off bait fish when they caught a nice fish. What the fuck? The world's full of freaks. Can't trust Hicks, it's true. Yeah, because it was never like my dad really could fit it all in his mouth, no problem, right? It was that he was go he was willing to take the time to cram it all in, get in there, and wedge fries in the crevices that he was creating. wasn't like it was truly a talent more than it was just, I'm willing to do this for six ninety five. Fuck, it was the 90s. It was probably four ninety five. Did you just come to Ladoga without mayflies? I got a bunch, I think, Tommy, if you want some. I'm not sure which is doing better for me. I have stoneflies on one and mayflies on the other. You got any stonefly larva? I'll do a, uh, a Gibby. I think I've got a shitload of mayflies. May. Uh, I don't actually. Yeah, I haven't hooked anything that you need more than a fucking Lacardi to reel in over here yet. I should probably just kill my ground bait. I doubt it's helping me at this point. There's not really a... There isn't a button to just remove it, is there? Random ass bream a mix. No, I don't want to waste all that either. Well, it's something I just have like two portions of that I don't care to kill. One portion of carp mix. Both larvae out of stock. I better get out my scoop. I got enough to give you two, Jasky, if you want some. Got me a caddis fly and a blood worm.
God, you're so far away. That better not be a roach. That's a fucking roach. I think I'm missing the hole. Well, then that thing hooked way right. Oh, come on, game. Yeah, that's in the hole. You can tell by the way it settles. You both mean 8 mile, right? I'm clipping to 40. I remember measuring out that hole one time, and it's like 40. Uh, I could measure it again. <gasps> Why? I did nothing. I hold no shift. I pull. No pull. Ugh. I feel like my first retrieve where I've missed something. I can't run a smaller hook. I think a smaller hook would do better here, though. Green Mile was the real problem? Dude, I have so many random dreams with that dude. The big black dude in that. Duncan or whatever his name was in them. And it's so weird to me. random fact about my dream cycles in case you were wondering he did die yeah he could be visiting me Dumb Vendes. Oh, a Rippus. Hmm. Why didn't he pull down that time? Did it miss the hole there then? I guess it's possible it's falling a tiny bit short of that would explain the roaches, I think. Damn it, I didn't mean to pick that up. It's normally where my shovel is. Ah, my reflection. Oh, I got some mayfly larvae. You 
need some larva jassy? Or are you still trolling? I might try downsizing my leaders here and see if that has any help. Jigging the red maggot was doing well for me. I'm trying wacky now. Not so successful. I wonder if I have any smaller leaders. They're tiny baby fish, though, so I assume 20 kilo leaders is probably hindering my bite rate a bit. I'm not brave enough for four kilo. Damn, do I not have anything? I could make tens. Yeah, let's try a ten. I have a spare red maggot if you want it. Just sitting here. I might even have two. I'm sending it to you. Fuck off. Nope, I'm sending it to you. Here, I'll send you this slightly used one. I'm never going to use it up. So it's just dead in my inventory. Something I have to scroll past. You can't even press the reject button. I know, it's just like Steam gifts. Oh, did you get a great char? Weekly record, though, Jassy. Worm really isn't doing well. I actually don't think this will work. Maybe it will. Will the feeder box strike fish to other rods? I don't think so, Hobbit. Like, there's no <laughs> good way to prove that. Um, I don't think so, though, but maybe?
You'd like to think it would. Oh, I went too quick there? Shit. Damn game. Oh shit, this is too heavy. I did a little damage to my rod there. Whoops. Weirdly, the one of the big leaders seems to be doing just fine. But it's just Ben days. Which isn't what I want. I mean, I wouldn't mind Vendays if they were like, nice roach, nice roach. I feel like I was hitting the roach when I was landing here in front of the hole, but I might be wrong. I haven't hit one since I stopped casting at the tippity tip of that. But I think the tippity tip might have also been where I actually got the whitefish. Bigger hook on it. Yeah, that one keeps getting more bites that don't go through. But the 10 seems to be working nice for a lot of flags and not a lot of small stuff. I still can't believe that Ladoga swam 40 meters up and around this island. I was only out there for a second, it felt like. There are blue bream here somewhere. Did you catch one? There's an order for those. Red maggot has betrayed me. Bigger fish were coming from this direction with the maggot. change it anyway. I'm going to try a Nightcrawler because I'm curious. Oh wait, there's a lot of shit that could fuck me with a Nightcrawler, huh? That might be too brave.
here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Take me for a ride. Well, I have my big rod here. I guess I could throw something crazy out there and hope for a sturgeon or something. But then I'd be catching even less fish. I don't know if I have enough time left in the day to catch a sturgeon, a big sturgeon. Oh, look at that roach, though. The one, two, three roach. Is that a trophy? Is it? Yeah, I was catching them like crazy there by that hole. Might be the roach spot. I think roaches were in order. Nightcrawlers got me a big perch. Surgeon question mark one portion. I think smelt would be good out here because they're natural. Let's try one. I never, I don't test enough stuff. I squished a smelt today. Oh, you're already in five. Nice ripus, Tommy. Is that out here off the bottom? There's definitely an order for those. Bottom with Nightcrawler, you're so brave. Dude complains about catfish and here he is like, come and get me catfish surgeon. Some hybrid catfish surgeon. White green. Caturgeon. Yes, that's it. That's the one. Glad you remembered. I forgot his uh, official scientific name. Well, I've got a smelt out there. Fingers crossed. I feel like the answer is just always use a perch. But 
Maybe it's just because not enough guys are smelting. He who smelt it, after all. Wait, there's something on my smelt! It's the fastest bait fish I've ever used. It's a Xander. Oh yeah, this I didn't clip this rod, so I'm just yeeting that thing out there, huh? I like that you can use a 15 gram weight to hold down any fish. He's just not smart enough to swim it around. I think I might run the third bottom rod at night. Excuse me. Excuse me. You let me walk through here many times. All right, well, we live here now. Wait a minute. Cheat to win. Cheat, cheat to win. Oh, wait, maybe it is swimming my line around. That's the wind. Get a better reel in case shit pop off. This is always what happens. I'm like, I'm going to target this one little fish until I get it right. And then I'm like, but what if we targeted all the big fish? I need new leaders soon. Are you casting at the tip of the dick too, uh, Tommy? It's a little tight in here for three rods. And a lantern. We got some fish to chop up. Oh, there's three different kinds of white fish out here. There's the Valam. The Vu... Vu... Uh-huh. Is your Rippus on a worm too, Jasky? So close to the 420 Rippus Bongus. Mayfly. I have caught no Rippus. I think my bream was like one gram too heavy for that. Why is it slowed way down to me?
probably because I stopped using mayflies. That one's over the hole in the shallow, I think. Did you just get a second 420? Oh, no, it was a weekly record. I thought you got a second one. Rip is the king. All right, you guys stole all my fish. I invited you here and you stole my fish. I wish I had a chair to sit in. Relax, light a stogie. I can smoke stogies anywhere. You guys have a camping lantern? Why is it so bright? The sun already coming up? Fucking Russia is so weird. That's the second time you've jingled once. Please give me fish. Grats. That was in all capitals. I was really excited for you. Game just doesn't let you type in capitals. Wait a minute. Can you... No. Not even off punctuation? No. Oh, 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 fish. The smelt is my number one performer now. Yeah, no, you can't even say ultralight, right? Okay, all right. A burbot on the smelt, really? How is fishing different from ordinary fishing? Uh, th I assume you meant Russian fishing. It's, uh, it's different because it's in Russia. And fish in Russia are different than fish in America or Japan. It does contain vodka as well, yes. I don't have any currently. I have some mulled wine. Does that count? I'll eat an onion for you. That seems Russian. That wasn't wine. Did you lose your clip? So you're like way the fuck out there. And everybody else is. Uh, can you make booze out of an onion? I, I mean, probably in real life, sure. But not in the game, I don't think. I haven't got the moonshine still. It's like three grand. I ain't got that kind of moonshine kind of money here. Ooh, ooh, what's that? It's got a weird back. Is that a bream? It is a big white bream.
Yes, alcohol gives you an experience bonus. Because um, if you can catch a drunk, you'll be better catching it sober. Uh, as well as uh, comfort, which helps with your energy regenerating. So you can dig up more worms or land big fish. I should just reel this fucker in. It's all wonky. It'll also get you really fucking drunk, but it's miserable. So be take it easy on the booze, man. That's my one and only warning. That's why that fucker wasn't catching anything. It was shooting over the hole. I remember when Chat convinced me to get drunk. It was like an hour of suffering. Instant bite once you're in the hole. Just gotta dangle the worm in the hole. Scoop. More games should add pissing and shitting. You know, everyone wants to take time out of their day to piss and shit. With RNG piss and shit timers too, you might have to wait uh, two minutes. You might have to wait 70. Maybe like a lock picking mini game for when you get constipated. Might have gone too far. Cause you're too drunk. That has nothing to do with being drunk to walk to the outhouse. You piss in the water because it's there. It's nature's toilet. The guy I fish with pees more than any man I've ever met. Um, but he also drinks more water than anyone I've ever met. When we go fishing, he takes two gallons of water with him and usually finishes them both in like a three or four hour fishing stint. I don't know how he doesn't drown, but it, uh, it shocks me how willing that man is to just pull his dick out and pee on a sunny summer day in the middle of a public lake. Is it to compensate for all the beer later? Uh, I don't know. He's a recovering alcoholic, so I hope not. He's a construction worker. He says he just gets incredibly dehydrated at work, and if he doesn't do it, his like muscles ache horribly at night and stuff. But he could be secretly boozing, for all I know. I don't see him after 9 o'clock, so... The booze in hour. Oh no, why do I gotta push the limits, man? Why do I gotta do these things? I'm just out of range to pick my rod up. Come on, Richard. Come on, Richard. Come on, Richard. Squeeze out of there. Suck it in. Yeah. <gasps> you guys want to see what my chest looks like? Oh, wait. There it is. There, there it is. Good view. Good view of my chest. Can you do it up here? Holy burbot. Is that trophy? No. The smelt work, all right, as a bait out here. I'm out of them now. They catch shit. 
a reasonable rate of speed. What is that? Oh, Xander again? Excuse me? Why are you holding the fish behind you? Wait, did you find another smelt in our inventory? They're still alive! <laughs> Do I need to work these different than spinners? Um, I personally don't work them much different than spinners for pike, but jig stepping is the most popular method. Jig stepping or stop and go is the most popular method for spoons. Uh, when I'm working them for pike, though, a lot of time I'll still do a speed up method. I do think Jig Step's a little better, but it's slower. No, that, I'm going to leave that frog on the bottom of the lake and see how if he's alive when I reel him in. By the way, I haven't caught and, and packaged a fry in my a fry, a frog in my pocket in over an IRL year. Shame, Tommy. So that frog's just been in my pocket, alive. We'll see if a frog does anything. Maybe a burbot. Who knows, maybe a Xander will eat a frog. Xander ate up all my smelt real fast. Maybe a bigger frog will eat it? Hell yeah, dude. I've had smaller perch eat my perch. It's a pretty good sized burbot. Fish on the frog? Fish on the frog? Or is it just the frog swimming away? We'll never know. I've only got 19 frogs. Burbits like frogs. I wanted to see if he was still going to be swimming when he got back. Oh, it's popping off over here. the fuck are you? A hundred gram rough. That's disappointing. I really didn't have any faith in the frog, let alone it to go off that quick. That was pretty fast. Gonna have to fish up more frogs to squish. It was one frog. Let's see more happen before we... Just cast that burbot back out there. Catch a bigger burbot or maybe a frog. 
that pole. Head banging. This has got some weight to it. I think this is my last stone fly, damn it. Do you have a million stone fly mohawk? Probably not. Pikes love frogs, do they? Just a big perch. Ain't even that big. What about a caddis fly? I'm sad I can't get the dung beetle larva yet or the diving beetles. Excuse me. I'd like to put my rod down, game. I had the rod here, game. Don't tell me I can't put it back down here, game. I think it's the dumb light. <laughs> Thanks for the frogs, Tommy. Well, you don't plan on using them? Is it too heartbreaking? My second frog hasn't gone off yet, so I'm losing faith. My caddis fly went quick. It's the first time I've enjoyed bottom fishing in a long time. Just random junk. Idiot. I hate bottom fishing. It's dumb. Come on, big frog. Thought that was a fish. It's an upside down seagull, though. They tend to swim around in these waters. Did I really just get stuck? Fuck me. Mm. Mm. That didn't free me either. Ha <laughs> ha! I can't get off the boat. Oh, oh, I saw it for a brief second. I see you going slack there, Mr. Nightcrawler. For no reason? There used to always be a fish on. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
It's not in my way, at least. Nice bream. It's died for me now, too, Jazzy. Why do I do this to myself? Because I'm too impatient to stand still. Run. 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 I'm going to be a backpack while you run. I want to fish that spot right there. Oh! You're getting so many vendes on mayflies? Or on everything? All right, I think I got a bail on Froggy. My burbot weather's changing on me. Do you still swim after being... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I would never have expected them to take the time to make them swim around. Bark beetles? Oh. Thinking outside the box. How about a nature rough? Look at his little dumbass swim. I didn't think they swam. Guess they just sat there like idiots. Alright, these are getting moved. They've been out there too long. No action. I dug up. Oh wait, I don't have any mayflies going. Go downsize this hook a little. The ten was doing really well on the other run. What size hooks are you guys using? That's got to miss. Twelve and fourteen, yeah. The ten was doing good for me on um, at first. And then I got wild and crazy and started throwing night crawlers and fish and frogs. And now my life is over. Why is there just always slack in that line? It's 
just a fish swimming. My tiny weight. They're coming right for us. What a wimpy ass slingshot. Can't even shoot birds with it. Why did they nerf the slingshot into the ground? I can throw further than that. What good is it? Your bird. Yeah. Oh, I missed him. Two out of ten quality, these are for shooting birds with. You done? Did you get stuck? Is your boat nearby? Eat your boat. That's what I did. Also, I don't appreciate being called Donna Richard. Oh, when you fly out of the others. I see that fucker on that other island. Get him. Worthless. Throw that motherfucker. Yeah, I literally can throw them further. Why is there a slingshot? Oh, direct hit. Get shit whipped, bird. There's no fish here anymore, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, you're not the one I wanted to reel in. Yeah, I'm going to go back to two and a jig. Just, of course, I start getting a fish immediately, but... It's not about the money, Tom. Tom? You're Tom now. It's not about the money, Tom. It's about the bonding with your bros in the lake and the birds.
Tom? Is that a fucking common roach? Imagine that all caps. <laughs> you gotta let them know. Otherwise, how can they know how excited you were? The enthusiasm you're bringing to the table. Should leave my motor on. What if I need a quick escape? I think this ultra light reels slower than normal reels. I think its gear ratio is super low. I should compare it. Man, I just got out here, guys. And then you're going to go off. It's uh, It helps if you drive your boat away from your poles and then try to fish. another roach oh no it's an eyed oh yeah now we're in the money big two silver or so Got to set my jig back up where I wanted it in the in the slot. So if we cruise way down here, we're not in the slot yet. Quiet. Oh, it's called Quiet Islands. No wonder we're not having much luck. It's right in the name. I'm going to take all this time to set this fucking bait back where I want it. That fucker's jingling already. Sucker. <laughs> That's a big lake minnow. Ah, it's good to see Quasimodo getting out and enjoying himself once in a while. I just 
locked in that bell tower. I'm coming, fish. Wait, are you even on there? Did you make me come for no reason? A fish. It's going to be a shitty little perch, isn't it? Show yourself. Ninety nine point one. Smooth listening. Tiny fish. Everything eats tiny fish. Them's the facts. Told you, tiny fish. Everything. What is it? Don't rush it, Richard. You'll lose it. What is it? It's a fucking perch again. A hog, though. not stay on the line again I've never had a pole get hit that many times and not hook up. Yeah. 
It's finally done it. Tiny ass fucking Ben base. Wait, there's a fish on here? Thanks for eating my rough. I'm stuck again. <laughs> I'm gonna do something really dumb. I never... Oh, wait. You can't get out of the boat with a rod in your hand. You can get in a boat with a rod in your hands? I guess if it's not in the water. Oh, you can get out. But if it's in the water, you can't do either, right? Sorry, fish that's on the line. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Not going to do anything dumb. Disappointed. I wanted to drive my bait out into the country and drop it off. I don't feel like it's flying far enough. Why does that guy keep losing his fish? And then people keep catching it, and then he loses it again? Fish. <laughs> this this jig sucks. I've lost so many fish on it. I give up. It's that time. I gotta get my kid up for school here in a minute. I'm going to disappear, chat. Thank you all for like you did in half an hour ago. Thank you all for being here one more night for the fishing. I appreciate it. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. Most likely. Thank you for subs, tips, bits, all that shit. I appreciate it tremendously. Uh, I love you. Have a wonderful day. I got Girl Scouts tomorrow, so I don't know what time I'll be back, but I should be back. Bye.